Hello. How's everybody doing? Want to give a big thank you to our offline subs. We've got Regu. Thank you so much for the sub, as well as Rachel Forrest. Um, I also owe a big thank you to Sassy. Thank you, thank you for the sub as well. Dang, five months. Let's get it. Hello, how is everybody doing? Um, Willow, thank you so much for coming to stream. Finally caught a stream? Heck yeah, I'm happy to have you. Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, what are we doing today? What are you guys doing today? What's up? Happy Friday. Um, I hope that this is at least some people's Fridays. It's not everyone's Fridays because, you know, we all work different stuff. You know, we all are doing different things. Um, but happy Friday if it is your Friday. Um, it is my Friday, kind of. I am actually this weekend going to be working on a Stardew Let's Play to upload early next week. And we've got to talk about it a little bit. I want to know your opinions on everything. So Arcadia Awakens. Hey. Welcome to the sub club. Thank you so much for the tier one. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> Marzipan, you're babysitting, catching up on your crochet temperature blanket, sassy. Dang, that's probably a lot of work. I saw the girl on TikTok when she did the temperature blanket last year. So basically, if you don't know what that is, she just made a blanket with like every um, line of the blanket being the temperature for that day. And it was a huge huge project and it ended up being ginormous like comforter sized even more um but that is really cool look at you <clears throat> divine sunflower happy you're streaming today's been kind of shitty i'm so sorry i'm happy that you're here though i know sometimes life just like it hits you it hits you hard and so i'm happy that you're here thank you so much for coming um playing some stardew 2 willow starting a new farm what kind of farm? I, when I do my let's play, I'm going to do beach farm for sure. That is non-negotiable. Beach farm is so cool. And I really want to like actually make a good save with a beach farm. So happy it's uh, my Friday. Looking forward to Stardew Let's Play. Love watching those on YouTube, right? So let me talk to you a little bit about the Stardew Let's Play a little. So my initial plan, this was my initial plan. And you know, sometimes things just are too, for it's welcome. Um, are too big like larger than life and like a little bit more difficult to execute and a little too niche so what i want to do is since i want to appeal to like maybe a more wider audience and maybe even people that don't play stardew valley because you know i'm not a stardew valley channel on youtube and that's where i'm going to be uploading the let's play is my animal crossing channel so i'm thinking that i really need to make just like a normal let's play instead of my original idea which was i was gonna have like a polyamory mod and i was going to gender bend all of the bachelors into bachelorettes which i always do anyways but my approach there was i wanted to marry everybody and have them all come on my farm and be little like <laughs> and have everybody be my spouse and you know it's like a commune type of vibe and I was thinking like, that is so fun and so cool, but like, it is like very niche. And so what I'm thinking for the Let's Play on YouTube, I'd like to just keep it really simple and do like a very normal, like not so modded playthrough and um, kind of go the direction of, I don't know, just kind of simply vanilla, a vanilla sort of playthrough with doing the first year <laughs> what cash it down thank you for the follow the first year i want to complete the community center and that's going to be my first stardew let's play on youtube and then in the future i would like to do more fun stuff like that and then i would like to do like a joja playthrough as well i just don't think it's like as good to start off a series on the channel being too niche and i especially think like maybe after i do this one the joja playthrough would be probably better um so yeah but today we're going to be playing my main save, which is just like no holds barred. Um, I'm on like year three and I still haven't gotten to level 100 in the skull cavern on this save. So I really plan on trying to go for that today. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Sam, you can always make that as your next let's play if you have fun making the simple let's play. Exactly. That's kind of what I think too. Like just start really broad with like, you know just introduction to stardew valley on my channel because there's probably a lot of people that aren't into stardew valley as much on there um but maybe could be interested and i don't want it to be too complicated with like 
I changed this and I changed that and I changed this and that, you know, um, we can get there, right? Utah core Stardew Valley, let's play. Exactly, April. <laughs> it's literally sister wives. <laughs> Ditto, you're probably correct making it simpler since it's not your normal content, but god do I want the lesbian commune so bad. <laughs> uh, one of those spent 100 days in Stardew vids. That, that is really fun too. I like that. That's 100 days though. It's like... How many days is in a Stardew year? What if it was 100 days to marry everybody? Polyamory mod edition. That would be, actually, I should write that down. How many days is in a Stardew year? A Stardew year is... 28 times 4. Oh, so it'd be like a year. <laughs> a nice little toad up, right? Right. <laughs> so many save files on Stardew, some fave farms. Wish console had the DLC cried. I know, I know. I feel you. The first time I played Stardew Valley was on the Switch and moving into PC, like I loved it enough to where I bought it again on PC. And it's a different play Holy style, shit, right? No, when you're able to mod, me. but I still love the game just by itself. And I think it would be so fun to do like a more simply modded playthrough next. Cause I like mod the shit out of my game and it's a little much. By the way, in case you guys were interested, I finally got my life together for lissysblog.com. Which is where I have, oh, I put Lissy blog. I always do Lissy blog. Maybe I should just call it Lissy blog, but no, we're like in too deep. You know what I mean? Um, so for lissysblog.com, that is where I have all of my, this is where I have all of my, um, oh, I should probably move it over. Uh, Talia, thanks for the follow. This is where I have all my starting mods. I still haven't taken pictures, by the way. So when you go here, it has like a little bit of an introduction, like in case anybody doesn't know what they're doing. Um, it has all my mods, but I, I'm trying to replace these stock photos that Squarespace gives you um, <laughs> with starting pictures, obviously. Just haven't really gotten there yet, so um, bear with me a little bit. But right now, if you go and you look at my mods list, this is everything I'm going to be playing with today. I have not changed anything. So absolutely all my mods are on here and you also get wonderful pictures of sausages and mussels. <laughs> um, and more sausages and even more mussels. Yeah, so all my mods are on here if you are interested in anything that I'm playing with today. Uh, feel free to go check that out. And um, if you have any questions at all ever, like just let me know because I can always help you. Nikki, I say keep them. Also, hi. Hello. <laughs> you know what? I might just do that at this point. I also have not um, updated my mods in like two weeks, so I might have to do that real quick. Let me go ahead and get Stardew all booted up so Smappy can tell me if I'm able to actually Sausages. play today or if I need to update my mods before I do all of that. The way that the animal mod list is next to a sausage is sick and twisted. <gasps> that is terrible. <laughs> also, Alex, thank you so much for the five month streak on that sub. You're awesome. You are so great. My goodness. But I mean, yeah, you're right. All right. Let's see. What does it want me to update today? So today, today, uh, I should probably, I should probably, yeah, like, let's just go for it. Let's just do it. Why not? All right, bear with me, guys. We're going to be doing some serious computer hacker stuff. All right, are you guys ready? We're going to update all of our mods today. Ayo! Custom wedding attire. I haven't even gotten married yet, and I have that mod. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Wait a... Wait a minute. Why did you do that to me? I'm also not logged in. Oh, this is terrible. All right, let me figure this out. I got to log in. I've got to log in. I literally pay so that I don't have to like- Happy Friday. I know it's ridiculous, but so I don't have to like wait <laughs> or like do anything strategically just so I can go ham. You know what I mean? Like I like doing that, but I'm going to update my mods real quick. If you guys want to tell me all about your Stardew playthroughs that you guys are doing right now, um, feel free. Anybody have anything spicy, fun, and exciting? Anybody have Stardew Valley sex mod? 
Oh, shoot. Go away. Didn't actually want that to open. Um, what did I just do? Fashion sensed, improved Leo. I mean, I don't really know why I have improved Leo. Oh, because he looks more adorable, a little anime. <laughs> um, anime mods is also ready to be updated. And simple foliage. I do love the simple foliage mod. I stopped using the other foliage mod because it stopped getting updated. And I like this one too because it's more vibrant. I'm in my being vibrant era. All right, I'm gonna download all these mods. I have them all open, all ready to freaking go. We gotta do time speed. We gotta do simple foliage, anime mods. It's a Leo. Fashion Sense, which I started using for my clothes. I really like this mod, by the way. It's a bit different, but it's cool. And custom wedding attire. And of course, what makes the world go round, content patcher. So let me do that real quick. Found two ancient seeds in my first spring on my current farm. No way. Did you dig them up? Is that how you found them? Ashley, thank you so much for the tier one. And thanks for the follow. Um, and Beto, thank you so much for the follow as well. Um, Ashley, appreciate the tier one sub. Welcome to the sub club. Are you playing Sturdy Valley today? Hazel, you're on your first playthrough. Fin finally finished the community center real year three, end of fall. That's about when I finished my community center too, the first time I played. So congrats to you. We make a new folder, updated mods, get everything all ready to go. I'm so organized when I am doing my mods for Stardew Valley, but if you go into my Sims 4 folder, it's an actual nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> like, it is not organized at all, and that's the sole reason why I haven't opened Sims in such a long time. Oh, also besides, you know, all the drama that's been going on, I'm like, I'm not opening your silly, stupid game. Uh, paste these portraits into Stardew Valley content portraits. Oh wait, I don't know how to update this mod. It's a X and B. This is a content patcher, I hope. I'm just not gonna close that one. Apologies. Uh, Samika. Samika says, thank you so much for the follow. Playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Nice. I still haven't um, fully beat it, but I did catch an Alpha Eevee last time I played. I've been wanting to play for games in my free time, but I just haven't had a lot of free time lately outside of stream. So I have been obviously playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Uh, but not much else. Oh, oops, a daisy. All right, getting everything all good to go. This is my Stardew Valley mods folder. Boom, boom, boom goes the dynamite. All right, so here we go, y'all. Okay. Let's delete improved Leo. Goodbye. Portrait anime mods. Where is the peas? Heading down to the peas. All right. Simple foliage. Goodbye. Content patcher. Goodbye. Custom wedding attire. Fashion sense. And last but not least, time speed. My boo. Love it. Look how organized we are. Look at that. So sad I wasn't in chat during the Rested for Weed story time. <laughs> I'm embarrassed that I even told you guys about that. Like, I hate that part of my life. And do you ever look at things like, damn, like, I'm a fucking idiot for real. Um, that's how I feel, like, all the time. Oh. I hope, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the story, but <laughs> low-key triggering. Cute cat, AC, thanks for the follow. Got sucked into a Sims Decades Challenge on TikTok, binge for two hours. Try, I try videos and become attached to the characters. Cheer up when they die. Wait, is somebody doing like a like a Let's Play on TikTok? Does that not sound crazy? Oh my god, does TikTok even give you enough time to like do that? Okay, Uno Memento. Let's turn off Kirby. Make sure all our music for Shardy Valley is all good to go. Idiot always so same. <laughs> Beat it last night. Now I'm just catching Pokemon. About to start Animal Crossing soon. Never played. My friend always says how much fun it is. For sure. I love a good old Animal Crossing sesh. 
Um, definitely one of my favorites. Oh, wait. Are we all linked up on this end? Just gotta make sure you guys can hear everything that I'm hearing. Picking up what I'm putting down, you know what I'm saying? There we go. All right, okay. Now, what happens if I go here? Oh, nothing, of course, of course. Um, Sorry, I never have my life together <laughs> when I'm booting up Stardew Valley for you guys, but here we are. Are you guys ready to get it? Wake up from dreams embarrassed by my actions in them. I'm embarrassed about every ex every moment of my existence. <laughs> you can live stream on TikTok, so I guess so. Also, I, they have the ability to do 10-minute videos on TikTok now, which is wild. I have not seen a 10-minute video on TikTok, but if I ever do stumble across a 10-minute video, I'm going to be honest, like, it's an, it's an auto-skip. That's not why I'm on TikTok, you know? It all, it, I might come around eventually. I would love to see, like, um, Teffy do 10-minute videos because her series are so long. Like, I would be okay with a TikToker like Teffy doing a 10-minute video. Um, Ek, thanks for the follow. And also, Willow, welcome to the sub club. Thank you so much for using your prime on me. I feel very special. So thank you so much for doing that. Mom, pick me up. They're talking about sex mod. <laughs> Sophia, thank you. That's very sweet of you. I appreciate it. TikTok is for instant gratification only. Yes, that and only that. So we are playing on the main save today. Hopefully everything is good and loads up all nice. This is year three. I'm in summer. And I believe last time we played Stardew Valley, I have not played since then. Yikes. There's just been a lot going on. But, um... The last time I played, I got all my summer crops planted, I think, so I can really just focus on maybe doing some skull caverning today. Now, let me tell you real quick, before we get too into it. <clears throat> the first time that I completed the skull cavern. Let's turn this up. First time that I completed the Skull Cavern was on my um, Switch save, so I was playing the vanilla game. And when I completed the Skull Cavern on that one, I did not use any staircases. I got off on purely um, spicy tuna or whatever the hell it's called, spicy eels and <laughs> spicy tuna roll and um, bombs and luck. I had great luck that day. I checked the TV when I got home. It was all by chance. And like, I didn't plan on it happening, but it did. I just, I had like a bunch of holes. And so I got really lucky that day. And that's kind of what I'm hoping happens here. I'm going to try to just not craft a single staircase. Um, and we'll have to see. And we will have to see what happens. I think the first time that we go, um, we probably will have to like wait for one of those good luck days to even attempt the hundred but we're gonna go and we're gonna farm like geodes so we can just buy the spicy tunas and then um you know just see what happens just live life so live your life hey only made it to level 100 with lots of staircases i hope that it does not come to that regardless though today we're gonna make it happen so when we talk about staircases we're talking about Do I not even have the recipe? Wait, hold on. Am I dumb? Gonna be honest, I've never crafted a staircase in my whole life. Hey, baby. Is that it? No, stone floor, crystal floor. Oh, you're fine. You can make as much noise as you want. Oh, here we go. I'm just dumb. All right, 99 stone. There we go. We found it. <laughs> Crafting staircases, staircases do something special. You want to know a fun little hack with a staircase? I do want to know a fun little hack with a staircase. Please enlighten me. <clears throat> do I already have the desert totem so I can get there right when I wake up? I have, I think, a couple in my storage. How do you complete the Skull Cavern? Well, if you get to level 100, then it helps complete a, part, a portion of the story. So let me show you on here on my journal. I have cryptic note. 
You found a note that reads, someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Reached a level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Now, the most I've ever gotten is like maybe level 50. I feel like 50 is pretty safe assumption. Um, I haven't really kept track, but that's also with cheating, like stopping the time, because I haven't really gone for level 100 before. Make a staircase and try to put it on his pants. Okay, word. <laughs> that sounds fun. Chaotic Carson stream again. Yesterday's stream was so fun. Did you guys like that? I loved when he stepped in and, you know, gave us a good old Carson Crossing moment. That was so fun. Babe, we miss you. Oh, wait, this isn't... Sorry. Wrong shed. Also, I'm going to completely ignore the shit out of my animals. <laughs> Ignoring my animals check. Get that, though. Get one of those puppies. All right, let's craft a staircase and try to put it on as pants. Oh no, I don't like that my clothes aren't showing up here. I might screw up my pants. Oh no. Oh, trimmed lucky purple shorts. Purple silk shorts trimmed in luxurious gold. No way. That is a cute little hack. What the hell? <laughs> wow, I can finally match Mayor Lewis. Adorable. <laughs> Will you let Carson know that the process of turning into a crab is called Carsonization? Did you hear that? <laughs> he said, whoa. Whoa. He feels it. He feels it coming. Um, I think I'll put the shorts in there. And I'm going to get rid of those two. But yeah, I guess we'll just um, we'll head on in. We'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to bring the hoe while I'm there. Sometimes I like to bring the hoe with me when I go to the mines, but, or the skull cavern, but I will not be bringing the hoe because when you start to get down to the wire, start to get down deep, your inventory situation starts to turn into like a hellscape. So we'll take some spice, the eel. Stuffing, am I ever going to use it for anything? Um, never. And I'll take some triple shot espresso. Espressi? And cheese, you know, just for a quick little banger. Oh, wait, instead of cheese, the best quick little banger is Less Cape than Carrot. Three. <gasps> Stop, HLH, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for two months. That's so nice of you. I am just happy to please. Thank you. He's carsonizing right now. Hey, yo, carsonization check. My favorite hobby is ignoring my animals in Stardew. Talk to the mayor while wearing them. Oh, really? Or Marnie, it's super funny. Oh. <laughs> They're probably like, um, where did you get those? <laughs> we'll have to do that later. So so much variety options there are in Stardew Valley because I had no idea you could make it to year three without making a staircase. I never done. I just never done it. I don't know. I just, I'm just quirky like that, you know, just like super unique. Is so unique, not like other girls. Like, I just don't use staircase in Stardew Valley. <laughs> mm. My parents going to dinner without me, like, don't think I'm gonna bring the hoe with us. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I love that. That was a good one. That was a zinger. The thing about not playing Stardew Valley for a minute is also not knowing what where all of your stuff is. I'm pretty sure I have desert totems in here. If not, we're going to need to buy some. Jinkies, Batman. Oh, here we go. I have eight. So like, yeah, let me just. Let me just go now. Like, I literally don't care. We're, today's about being wasteful. Also, forgot to check the TV. But hey, we are here not to get to 100 right at this moment. We don't have to get there immediately. Oh, damn it. I should have brought my hoe. See what I mean? I should have rubbed a hoe. Um, but we're just going to see how far we can make it. And then there will be a point where we take it very seriously. Hey, are you guys ready for me to rage? Like, I hate this. <sighs> Curled your hair feel like a fancy little show pony? <clears throat> I'm envious of little show animals. Like, you ever watch the what's the dog thing? It's like the dog pageant where they do little tricks and they're all groomed and beautiful. I'm like, I kind of wish I looked like that. <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> complaining about Animal Crossing real quick. Go crazy. Get duplicate DIYs on my beaches daily. This is why I go to Treasure Islands. I have the problem where something will happen you are so hot me, and sexy. Love you, best. And I don't know if this happens to anyone else. Sarah, thank you so much for the tier one gift. That is so nice of you. Thank you so much for your extra support. That means a lot. Um, this is here's the dealio. Here's the dealio. Something will appear in my nooks one day. I'll go in and maybe there'll be like um I don't know. Uh, can't even think of a single item in Animal Crossing. There will be an item in my nook's cranny and for the next like five days if i pop balloons like religiously if i keep popping all the balloons that i see i guarantee you that that item will appear in my balloon which is so frustrating when you first start the game what are you looking for honey bear <laughs> okay love you <laughs> yeah no that's fine sorry i gotta hydrate real quick i don't think i've drinking much water today so we got to go hard i did have this thing earlier i went to the gas station oh my god you guys gotta be filling up on gas um i went to the gas station and i got this duncan iced coffee but it is thin mint flavored it was not thin mint flavored i will tell you that much <clears throat> oh yes katie all of my mods are on elissiesblog.com um if you want to check that out the link is in the chat but I did not get eggs. You guys, I don't know why you think I'm a gas station egg girl. I've never gotten a gas station egg in my whole life. On God. I would never do that. Um, yeah, no, this was not, this was not good. But dude, to be honest, like something, I think the apocalypse is, um, is upon us, like for real. Like the gas prices are crazy. And when I go into the quick trip, they have nothing but this. This is the only coffee drink they have. They aren't doing any of the... You know how Quick Trip has like the frozen coffee, the hot coffee? There's none of that. You can't fill up a little cup. And there's none of the little, you know those Starbucks glass things? None of those anymore. They used to only have one flavor for the last like two years. They only had one flavor. Now there's none. There's only Monster and one flavor of Red Bull. Who drinks Monster? Does anybody here drink Monster? I don't like Monster. <laughs> Thicky mints. <laughs> Ashley, I love this game. Stardew Valley, it's so good because I even like the game by itself. It's my favorite game ever. I even like the game by itself. Like, I don't feel... Oh, there we go. I don't feel the need to, like... The, the game, the vanilla game is just so wonderful. And it's full of so much joy and excitement. I didn't bring any bombs. Oh, yeah, this is definitely not going to be a level 100 run through. I didn't even bring any bombs. Also, what do we need to do to craft bombs? So we need copper and coal, iron and coal, gold ore, solar essence, and void essence for mega bombs. So maybe before we go into a lucky day run through, um, we can really we can really work on that, you know? Um, let's see. Let's get this puppy. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. I'm on a roll. Whoa, girl. Hey, maybe don't do that to me. Let's go see what's down here. Oh, I've already got that one. Already got that one. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're going in. All right, time for a spicy eel. Let's get lucky. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm already getting wrecked. <laughs> I think the command is Lissy's blog, maybe. Hello, Mia. Welcome. Mm. Hazel, you like the monster coffee, especially the mean bean flavor. The monster coffee freaks me out. Don't know why I cannot get behind this. I don't want anything to do with monster coffee. You know what I mean? It just freaks me out. It gives me the heebie-jeebs. Um, let me go real quick to see if I've collected this coal. I have not. Hello. Give it to me. Get out, get away from me. This guy, he's all up in my business. Okay, I just wanted that one coal and then I'm leaving, goodbye. <laughs> Going in. Jesus Christ, I'm getting wrecked. I also hate the mummy level, so if I am to die, I guarantee you guys, knock on wood, it's gonna be the mummy level. 
I hate it down here. <laughs> and I don't have bombs with me today, so we're gonna have to figure it out, buddy. All right, get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oh my god. I I'm just getting absolutely slaughtered out here. I should have brought, like, some very nice food for a situation like this. I'm shaking in my boots now. This is not a good situation. <laughs> F the mummy level. I hate it down here. And I hate that there's even a little dragon here too. Get away from me, everybody. Okay, I'm just gonna go ham at these guys so they leave me alone for five minutes. Get me out here. I always wish I have a bomb for the mummy levels, not because I wanna kill the mummies but because I just want to get all the rocks. Okay, we've got a hole. Oh God, I gotta defend my honor real quick, everybody. Get away from me. Our first hole. We're going in. Your health is making me nervous. I know I didn't realize it fell that low. It made me very nervous too. I had to take a moment, a little breather. Okay, wow. 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 You guys you guys think that you're so strong. Because you are. And you just fucking destroyed me. Alright, cool. Here we go. Why are there so many jellies? I just... That's my biggest concern here today. Is how many jellies there are. And why they seem to think that it's okay to beat me up. What is this situation, too? I've never... Ma'am? <laughs> Jesus. All right, everybody focus. I feel like today I must have, I wonder when we go home, don't let me forget to check the TV because I must have terrible luck. I just, I know I have terrible luck. It has to be like the spirits are looking down on you today or whatever the hell they say. The spirits hate you and actually think that you're doing terrible. <laughs> Another thing too is my ring situation. My ring situation is not good. I don't feel like I have a good ring situation. I feel like there's gotta be something better that I could do, but that takes like research. Cause I don't know. I have to look it up and then I gotta read something. Chat's covering up the level number on it. We're moving her. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. That's better, right? That's good. All right, we're on 11. Also, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know why it keeps like going away every time I click away. And am I gonna sit here and figure that out? No, maybe another day. Another day, another Dwola. <clears throat> it's. It's a. I'm sorry, it's all lowercase. It's Asia, not Asia. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm sorry, I. I cannot comprehend right now, but I'm so sorry if I mispronounce. <laughs> Cherisnook. Thank you so much for the follow as well. But welcome. Thank you, Prince Pessa. I appreciate it. Oh, let's go down. Lucky ring by panning in the dick site on a good luck date. Wait, panning? Panning in the dig site. What's the dig site? Am I having... What the hell is a dig site? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I just don't know anything. I'm sorry. Ah! Holy ah! Shit, wow, fucking balls, eh? Whoa, girl. <laughs> ah! Whoa, girl. Fuck. What is this? This is a bad luck day. It's gotta be a terrible luck day. Oh my god. Are you kidding? How many was that? I just wanted you. On Ginger Island. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't done much Ginger Island stuff and I don't know anything, so. I bet you too. Just because, just to spite me, the game's gonna say when we go and we check my luck, the game's gonna say, this was an amazing luck day. You should have done wonderful things. 15 levels? We're on 31 now, level 31. <laughs> it's gonna be like, you had amazing luck today and if you didn't get to level 100, you actually suck at this game. And 
Oh. God. I hate the little ghost. Lethal ghost, lethal ghost. God. <laughs> My hands are really sweaty. Should we take a moment? Do a little hand rub. <laughs> uh, Lola, sorry I'm a little late to tell you, but bombs are super OP for getting level 100. Yes, we talked about that earlier. Am I romancing anyone in Stardew? I'm on gear three and I'm pretty up there with hearts on a lot of people. I'm still fully deciding who to marry because it always was gonna be my number one girl, Haley. Like I love her, um, but I kind of love the new Stardew Valley expanded romanceable character, Lance, and I do want to marry him, but obviously we have not been very good about romancing him. If anybody, if there's any mods here that can make a command to say, so I don't have to repeat myself all day, because I bet you people are going to come in and be like, use bombs and ladders. And that's fine, but I'm going to try. This is, here's the gist. I'm trying to do no ladders, because the first time I ever did it on a different save, I did no ladders, and it was a really rewarding experience. Um, I'm going to make several attempts today, some not as serious as others. Today, I'm just moseying around to see what happens at end this day. Um in Stardew Valley. I didn't bring any bombs because I forgot, so obviously I'm not going to take this run through as seriously, but yes, I do know that bombs are going to make life easier. So if there's any way that you guys could help me um, respond to those questions, that'd be awesome because I don't want to sit here and repeat myself all day. Um, capiche? Oh my god, I hate the ghosts. Get the way from me. I'm coming for you. I also hate mummy levels. Do you remember when I said earlier this where this is where I meet my end is a mummy level? Mummy loves. Thank you so much for the tier one for two months. Very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, it used to be a luxury cherry. Oh my gosh. Nice. Welcome back, cherries. All right. So, friends. I've seen someone say the galaxy hammer kills the mummies, but I haven't tried it yet. How do you get a galaxy hammer? Is that a, a game, a Stardew Valley thing? Or is that like a mod thing, like with the expanded? Because I know the expanded has um, other weapons too, but I have never, ever tried anything different. <clears throat> it's from the guild that's kind of expensive. Okay. Do you buy it or do you give them supplies too? It's in the vanilla game. Huh. Maybe we'll try to do that too later. We'll try to go find that because that would be very helpful. I hate those damn mummies and I hate wasting bombs on them, you know? Um, let's see. Any other food? No. No food. <clears throat> How the fuck is Liss doing? Liss is doing so good. It's Stardew Friday, baby. This is one of my more casual streams. I have a lot of fun doing these, so I hope you guys are along for the ride. Should I get Stardew? Absolutely. <clears throat> Galaxy Souls? What is Galaxy Souls? Dark Souls? I don't, I don't know what that is either. Game is such a mystery to me. I'm always learning new things every day, even though I feel like I've played this game to death, you know? I just, I feel like I learned so much. Get out me way. I just, you are a nuisance. Okay, let me get my coal. Oh my God. My God, this is terrible. All right, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a bomb right here. Right, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> all right, let me compose myself because we got a lot of mummies chasing me. So I think I can knock out all these mummies real quick. Let me do that. Okay, bomb. Hurry up. Why won't you place? There we go. Oh, damn you. God damn it. There's a lot of mummies in here. Watch me go, though, because I have this conspiracy that it's a bad luck day. Watch me go and it's a great luck day because I did get some pretty good holes. And there have been times where I've gotten zero holes. You know what I'm saying? Also, this is terrible. This is horrible. It's the worst day of my life. Look at all these mummies. 
Okay, here. We got a hole, everybody. We got a hole. I love it. I love a hole, not a ladder. <laughs> you need three galaxy souls to forge a galaxy hammer. And you get them from... And I'm sorry, I always say Master Chi. What do you call him? Mr. Chi? How do you pronounce it? Fell five levels. Okay, five levels, not great. But you know, not bad. I gotta count my blessings here. So, and then how do I forge it? Do I go to the forge on Ginger Island? Is that a weapons forge or is that just a rings forge? I am truly so unfamiliar with Ginger Island content too. I only have just started like toe dipping into it. So yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't really know what the hell you guys are talking about. <laughs> because I also don't think I've ever, ooh, I'm gonna go get that on my way. Also, I'm gonna go down and get that coal. I know, not very trying to get to level 100 of me. Oh my God, no, stop. Oh no, oh my God, I'm getting wrecked. Coal, I so desperately want a coal tree on my farm. Like it's not even funny. Crying in the club. All right, I'm gonna eat a carrot before I go in because what if it's like, you fell 3,000 million levels and all of your health is gone? I always get a little extra paranoid about that because that did happen to me once. I jumped in a hole and I only had like half of my HP bar probably filled and it like really killed me. It really did. Oh, level 51. Look at that. 10 bombs. Is this a good luck day? Am I having... Count your blessings, guys. I feel like there's no way to know how forging works without the wiki. Exactly, for sure. And I haven't really looked into it. <clears throat> Didn't even know holes existed? Oh. There's holes, for sure. And you definitely want the holes. <laughs> Ooh, I always pronounce chi like key. Can do both. Doing so well considering, right? It's 3 p.m. and I'm on level 51. I'm not even trying. And I just got 10 free bombs. Like, well, what are we doing here, guys? <clears throat> Most I've gotten to is 10 levels in the mines. It's, yes, it's stress. I get stressed. Most of the time I avoid the mines stuff altogether <laughs> until I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I gotta start upgrading my tools. I gotta go in the mines. Um, I typically don't really like, like it because I'm scared. I'm a scaredy cat. I also do not like these bats. Freaking bats. Uh, but it did give me some iridium, so that's nice. I can't believe we're already... Oh, my god, crab. We're doing so good. Um, my food situation is kind of alarming, though. I am going to have to play it a little safe here. And try not to get hit, which is impossible for me because, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> um, because I am bad. Stop, stop. Oh, thank God. All right, here we go. We're doing a stuffing. Too busy being a hoe in Stardew? Yes. You know, there's something for everybody, right? All my whores. <laughs> whores, rise up. Raise your hand. <laughs> what camera do I use for my face cam? Um, the, it's very excessive, but I do use a DSLR camera. I used to be a photographer before I started doing online shenanigans. <laughs> Making sure it's not a crab. Um, so I use a Canon EOS R, which is very, very unnecessary, but I used to do like weddings and stuff. And so, you know, I, it was my full-time job. And so like, you know, I had a really nice build and now I just use it for streaming, which is so ridiculous, <laughs> but you know, it is what I have. So that's what I'm, I guess, never needing to upgrade, right? Jesus criminy. Look at all these guys. This is scary. Riverland farm or standard farm for my new save. My vote is beach farm. I love beach farm so much. I'm gonna start a new beach farm save because I think it's so pretty. But I also love standard farm because it's really like open. Riverland farm is fun though. So like you do you, you follow your heart. Can I hire you to shoot my eventual wedding in like five years? I will never shoot a wedding ever again. I actually hated it. 
Like it's cute and it's fun and it's great and everything, but oh, I didn't even realize that there was a guy there. You know what? Cutting my losses, not getting that iridium. We're, we're just gonna ignore lots of enemies. I don't have that much food left. But, uh, you know, shooting weddings is fun and everything. I, I have my reservations about it. And <laughs> I like playing video games online more. <laughs> Um, but it's like, it's a really a lot of work and um, I just can't see myself doing it again because it doesn't fulfill me like it used to. Um, shit, that was so unnecessary that I got hit by that. Okay. I um, also hate, if you're going to hire a wedding photographer, here's my number one tip for people that are getting married. If you're going to hire a wedding photographer... If you don't want them to hate you, <laughs> that's so harsh, but if you don't want them to hate you, have a wedding planner. And if, if it's either or, try your best to work with them on scheduling and like, don't be... <sighs> I always had such a hard time because you would show up and when if there's no wedding planner and you're the wedding photographer, you are the wedding planner because essentially like... You don't do any of the pre-stuff that wedding planners do typically, but on the day of, the entire wedding schedule is on you if somebody's not there to enforce the schedule, which is like the worst part of it. Like if I were to ever do it again, I think a huge thing for me would be like, I don't shoot anything without a wedding planner. Doing river, already done beach. Oh, got to do a river then. Uh, but that's my only thing. That's my only thing. If I were to ever go back to that, if I were to not do this anymore, I think I might go into something else completely different. I don't really know. You know, I've done a lot of odd jobs here and there, but photo and photography doesn't make me happy like doing videos does nowadays. I like making silly little YouTube videos. If I were to ever not do this, do YouTube, I would probably get into more social media because I think it's so fascinating. Does anybody here work in social media? I think it's so interesting how like all of it functions and I want to get to know things more like I want to know more about like TikTok and trends and all of that because I am kind of a boomer. <laughs> boomer energy. <clears throat> Ton, thanks for the follow. Also Seville and MX Slarius. Malarius. Thank you so much for the follows guys. Welcome. Hello, Jules. How are you? Work in digital marketing. You know you work in weddings? Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very emotionally taxing work. But also so rewarding. Like, how cool to give somebody the ability to, like, remember their special day in such, like, a beautiful way. Like, I love that. Partially work in social, that's where I'm trying to go, move away from film as my job. It's, yes, working in film looks really, really hard. <laughs> oh my god. In a lot of different areas, because there's things that you could do where you're not, like, on set, right? And that looks really fun and interesting. That would be also something to explore. But I would never, ever work on set. I can't do it. And Carson's a trooper. He does, and I'm like, damn. It's a lot of eating shit. Being a photographer is just stressful as fuck. I have a photography degree. People always ask me why I'm not using it. I'm like, oh, sweetie, sit down. Let me tell you about it. Yeah, there's so many things about it that um, make it like, you know, it's just, I don't know why. I think people don't view it as like a respectable thing that deserves fair compensation. And I have a hard time with like that. There are people that, um, make it very successful and do really well and they work with like very certain kind of things but it's kind of like one of those front-facing jobs like being a hairstylist a makeup artist a nail artist or something where you deal with a lot of fucking bullshit people and it's like ugh! like have you uh, imagine being a wedding photographer going in and then having to deal with not only maybe like a bridezilla or a groomzilla situation, but like mom and dad, like grandparents being like, I wouldn't do it that way. Like I, I have such a short fuse in general in public. Amelia, thanks for the follow. It's always gotten me in trouble with 
like any customer service or customer facing job, like I always, I have such a hard time biting my tongue because I am a complainer, but I also like, I can't help, but I just, I have such an attitude. I'm terrible about it, but that's why I liked being a server because you can, you can kind of mess with people. A photojournalist love it so much, right? That would be such a cool job. That would be so cool. What kind of photojournalism do you get to do? I'm very curious. Hello, Caitlin. Welcome. <clears throat> Working at Mario speedrunning event last night for some streamers. What? That's so cool. I used to work in journalism right when everything pivoted to digital and social. That is so cool. I had a friend who worked for 100 Thieves for a while, and she loved it. Oh, my God. Like, that kind of stuff, I would want to do that. Like, I would want to be working for, like, an agency or stuff like that. I think it looks so interesting um, and so fun. Don't say film here without a trigger warning. <laughs> I know we have a lot of film people in chat that are, like, triggered by working in film. <laughs> Good at biting my tongue, but, oh, my God, at that point, I'd say fucking and quit. Yeah. Yeah, but like you can't because that's somebody's wedding. So you have to be so, so nice and sweet. And most of the time, like, you know, when most brides are like so, so sweet and nice, it's literally the family that like sucks balls. Dealing with the family is terrible. Like if I were to ever do it again, I would have like extreme, like you have to have a wedding planner and I do not want to talk to your mother. Like, <laughs> Which is so pretentious, but like, God, you know, I do not know how people do that for years and years and years and years. I do not know. I think people pick fights with me too, because, you know, it's also hard being like a younger person working a wedding, because most of the time, like, I'm always typically like younger than the brides and the groom, like, you know, so it's like, I will sometimes be like one of the youngest people there, definitely one of the youngest, like, working people there that are working the event and that's always very difficult too because you know people have their reservations about like oh you know that. how to do that <laughs> and i'm like T -t 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 in my head <laughs> recommend that once you're tired of being your own boss run my own art collective outside of work but other than that i just have a nine to five with nice perks sometimes fun events some people yes it totally works for some people because yeah working for yourself can be very exhausting and I think a lot of people can burn themselves out really easily doing that. About to graduate university, so I've done a myriad out of things. Did a story on death doulas once. Took photos of the damage and people recovering from wildfires in my area. That's amazing. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. Okay, let me get this bat. I love the iridium bat. Give me more free stuff. Um, should I just use a bomb here real quick? Let's go. Who's the bomb? Yuda bomb. All right. Well, that was a fucking waste of my time. Oh, here we go. Going in. Hold your breath, everybody. We're at level 60. It's 7.30 p.m., so we could have done a lot better on time. Holy Don't shit. think well, that we're going to be able to make it, but that's okay. You know? Um, I should probably just go ahead and drop a bomb. Okay, there's a ladder. Let's go. Um, I only left stone and gold. So that's fine, too. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh, here we go. Going down. Ooh! Focus. Everybody gather your energy. Oh, we got a hole. We got a hole, everybody. Ellie, thank you for the follow. And Yeet Curtis, thank you, thank you as well. Graduated school a couple months ago. I don't know what to do with my life. Same. That's so relatable. Who else isn't using their degree check? I guess, I guess you could say that I sort of am, but I got a, um, associates in, um, film production, and then I went into photo for my actual job, because I wasn't actually good at film production, and I hate manual labor. <laughs> 
I also went to film school with literally like no knowledge of anything in the industry or cameras or technology or anything. Like I just was like, I played such catch up and ah, get away from me. You little crab. Why aren't you giving me any free crab meat or whatever the hell that they give? You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. Is this going on the Clips channel? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Ooh, I forgot. Did I schedule? Uno Memento. I know we're like literally doing something right now, but hey, do you remember um, how I'm supposed to have a Clips channel video up from yesterday? Let me see if I even scheduled that. Sorry, I was just so busy today going to get my little Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee at the gas station. I forgot. Oh, wow, you guys, I got accepted to the YouTube partner program on my Clips channel. Yo, we out here monetizing. Um, <laughs> my VODs literally like can't be monetized though because we play so much copyright stuff. Like half of them. That's okay though. You live and you laugh and you love and it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but you know, I am proud of myself. <laughs> Making moves. I also have to pee. Once we're done with this day at the Skull Cavern, I am going to have to pee. Me wanting a typical nine to five since online college taught me that I can't do shit wow. on my own. I learned so much about myself going to community college about how I can, how I regiment my schedule and how like literally messed up my brain works. Making moves, making moves. We are a slay. <laughs> Gets demonetized for Scatman. I did get demonetized for Scatman because I played too much Scatman. That's why the Scatman command is only scat ba 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 And that's it. We're not even getting the dum da da dum da da dum 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 And no shimmy dim dim yum ba dum mo Yum ba dum mo I'm the Scatman. Hello, M. How's it going? Where'd you get the Killua shirt? It's sick. I got it from a stitching witch on Twitter. Um, they have such a cool shop, too, with all sorts of different kinds of things that you guys would probably be into. Because we have, like, pretty aligned interests here. Oh, my God. I hate this. Get away from me. Ah! Get out, me swamp. Whoa, okay, that's a crab. God, I hate it. I hate this so much. Ah! I'm a scat man. Okay, whew. Cannot die to this guy. Let's play it safe. All right, no moving around. No funny business, hey. You know what I'm saying? No funny business. I'm gonna eat. Ugh, I'm like really running out of food. That's okay, though. We'll come more prepared next time. Again, today, we were not very prepared for 100, but... Um, and we also don't have that much time left, so I don't know if we'll make it, but... You know... I will never say never. I'm looking for a hole. Just a girl in search of hole. <laughs> Are we dancing? It was a little romantic between me and that little dragon. Okay, whew. Taking a quickie. Gets demonetized for impersonating Scatman too well. Oh, God, how did you know? That's the truth. Speaking my truth. With Liz the Lass. I'm a Scatman. We did get, like, so many materials today, which is really nice, of course, as per always. I am just, oh, I don't even need to use bomb. Let's get out of here. Not even gonna get that little gem, whatever that is. See, it's not even important enough for me to know what it is. <sighs> I can't help but also farm all this iridium while I'm here too. That's probably a huge part of my downfall here and why we, 1140, I mean, we'll see. But I can't help it. You know, I always need iridium. Like, what we get enough? I always need a little iridium. Also surprised I haven't gotten a prismatic shard while I've been here. A prismatic shard. Ignoring. It's 12. 
Oh no, and we're getting an infestation. This is terrible. All right, you better give me a hole right now. Oh, thank God. We got a ladder. Oh my God, fuck my life. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, this is horrible. Super focus mode. Okay, 76, it's 12.30. I will stop the time right before it gets to two so I can get home, but I just wanna know, like, will I be able to do this? Do I have what it takes to be America's next top model? Don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> Damn it. No hole. Hey, don't let me forget. I gotta stop the time. I know. I know, guys. We did our best. We gave it a good old college try, didn't we? And, you know, there's always gonna be another mountain. Somehow, we gotta make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes you're gonna have to lose. 78? You think it's good to call it there? What rings do I wear in Stardew? Shitty ones. <laughs> I have no idea how rings work. <laughs> and I'm too afraid to ask, or I haven't like really looked into it, so I'm a bit of a mess. Mummy problems. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, no, I haven't... Um, I remember I like combined some rings my first time playing, but I'd have to like look into it again, you know? Because I don't really remember. I don't really fully remember. Also, I stopped the time. Okay, get me out. Get me out of here. I'm just gonna farm what's left on this floor, but yeah, Did 79, not bad. Dance yet? You. Also, hello. I haven't said hi to Lance today, but hello. How are you, Brenna? Um, I'm trying to get down and dirty with Lance. But does he want to get down and dirty with me? That is the question. We're at one heart right now. But I think that if I get to level 100 in the Skull Cavern, then maybe, maybe he will want to actually romance me. Who knows? It's a pipe dream. All right, we're leaving. This was it. We got to level 79 before we stopped the time. Hack for the Statue of Perfection. Have like 20, never have to worry about Iridium or anymore. Ooh, what is the hack? Leaving the mine. We gave it a good old college try. We got to 79, but I am not going to go any further while cheating. I am cheating right now. I stopped the time so that I could get home. But we didn't even come prepared for this one today, and it worked out so good. So I have a feeling that means we're going to get lucky this stream, and we are going to get to level 100 without any staircase lanes hello thank you so much for hosting the stream how are you did i talk to grandpa shrine Liz? did i talk to grandpa shrine what do i got to say to him i did get the little statue right <clears throat> what else do i have to tell grandpa hey yo grandpa what else do you want to know <laughs> so yeah that was a good one that was very successful um we have 28 Oh, that's it? I thought we got like a lot of them. 28, um, that is a lot, but spicy eel. We can get three, that's nice. Excuse me. Mega bomb, bomb. I do, yeah, I will just buy one of those. Fiber, warp totem dessert recipe. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really need to buy warp totem. debating on buying Mega Bomb, but if I do... I will not. I don't know how much Iridium I have, and like, this is like a really decent amount to just hoard, so we can do it another day. <clears throat> when the player's inventory is full, using the pickaxe to pick up the play statue will not add it to inventory. If the player right-clicks Grandpa Shrine at this time, they can obtain another statue of perfection. Players can obtain infinite statues of perf perfection by repeating this process. What? That's crazy. That sounds like, uh, 
That sounds like fun. Oh, we should totally do that. I'm not going to do it right now because I am excited about the prospect of being able to pee. But we've got to try that hack. Got to try that hack. Right, let's see. You're going in, you're going in. Ah, what are we getting, huh? You're all going in. Also, if you hear my tummy grumbling, um, no, you didn't. <laughs> I, yep, yep. Oh, that's gold. That's not solar essence. That awkward moment when, look how organized I am. Look at that. All right, so really quickly before going to tomorrow, I'm just going to go pee. Um, do you guys want to listen to some Kirby Lurby? You guys want to listen to some Kirby Lurby? Um, let's see. This is like a really good playlist, but I'm going to start it from the top again because I don't think you guys appreciate what's really going on here, okay? I don't think you guys appreciate it. I love this song so much. This song, this song brings me joy. What mascara do I use? I use the um, Benefit one with the pink. It's like a pink, pink and black tube. I love that one. It's so good. Um, and I will never use anything else, you know? Like that's the only thing I've ever used. I did use Better Than Sex when I was in school because like it would be like so scandalous when you'd come to school and you'd be like, yeah, I use Better Than Sex. And people would be like, <gasps> Yeah, anyways, but I do like that benefit one. Anyways, I will be back. I'm going to go potty really quickly. Thank you guys for sticking around. If you can't, no worries. We're in for a wild ride today. BRB. This is the one. Roller lash. I love it. Mmm, I love it. Oh, so good. You guys uh, staying hydrated today? Reach Amigo. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> Luca, thank you for the follow. How's everybody feeling tonight? Thank you, Brenna. You think my pigtails are cute? I was not feeling my hair today. I washed it, but I didn't have enough time to like gel or style or anything. I just was like, blah. And I'm just feeling pretty blah about it. So, um,. Sometimes, you know, you have to live, laugh, and love in any condition. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm gonna check on my newest video. I just, I have been, it, things have been so good with this newest video. Are you freaking kidding me, you guys? Thank you everybody who watched and supported it. <clears throat> Cause yeah, no, it's really sick. Where'd you go? This is so... Your hair natural? I'm so envious. What? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, it looks a lot better when I'm able to like do the gel and like do my little hair routine, but I did no hair routine today. Mm. God damn. I don't think I've ever had a video do this well out the gate, you know? Um, it says for me that it's at 10k views says publicly 7.4. I, I don't like how it's not all caught up. It catches up after like a couple hours, but for me it says something different. So, but 10K views in the first couple hours, it's like pretty awesome. I've never done that before. Um, so many good comments too. I love reading everyone's comments. Eep. Lots of people looking for those clips, Jules. Looking for the clips. Anyways, thank you guys. It's really cool. Are you buying all your cool shirts? Thank you, Dick McStrong. Um, they are pretty cool, huh? This one is from a stitching witch on Twitter. 
it's embroidered. This Killua shirt, it's embroidered. It's really nice. Um, and she does like a lot of embroidered stuff. I always want to buy things, but gotta cool my jets. This weekend I'm buying some like house stuff. I bought like a new water container. Oh. It's gorgeous and it's great and it's very functional. But mm, drives me nuts how much things cost. <laughs> I've been perusing OfferUp as well, and I'm like thinking about buying a couple things. There's like this little cute corner three-tiered plant stand, and I'm like, oh my god, I want it. Quick little uh, ten bucks, you know? Uh, so I might do that, but yeah. Goodwilling this weekend, I'm gonna go check some things out. I need like a couple things, like um, workout clothes. I feel like such a bum going to the gym wearing what I wear. <laughs> And I bought a pair of leggings from Target, and I they were like so they're perfectly my size, but the material is such ass, and I already like took the tag off and everything. I should just try to go return it anyways if I can find the receipt. But they suck. Like they are so ill-fitting. They're my size, but they the fabric it just like it falls off. I'm literally like like on the stairs holding up my pants. <laughs> Luca, no worries. Thanks for joining us. New videos, everything I've wanted from the Animal Crossing community. Please continue to do those videos forever. Thank you. I will. I will be doing those videos. That's awesome. I'm glad that you like it. Yes, because I want stuff like that. I love longer form videos, and I feel like um, since Izzy's only did the one Animal Crossing video, you know, I love Izzy's videos. Um, I just have been craving more stuff like that because Animal Crossing is a lot of drama. Well, it's a very drama-filled community, so it's cool. Wore my list last shirt today while shopping. Out here repping the list pills. Are you a list piller? Officially list pilled? Game. Never mind. Based and list pilled? Love the video essay. Lap that stuff up. I'd love to make even longer form ones. It's just, it's so difficult. Like, it's really hard. And, uh, I don't know. I gotta get better at writing, too and formatting things in a way that's easy to understand. And not leaving things out. I left a couple things out and I was thinking of going back in and recording just like a couple things to add, but I figured, you know, the comments would do it for me. So <laughs> there are a couple things that I wish I would have added like as part of the history, I suppose, um, that I just didn't. I just simply did not. So let me go get this totem and then craft some bombs. So we'll go back in that little building. We'll craft some bombs. I'm going to get a totem for tomorrow. And we're just going to go straight there, honey. I do have time stop, so don't worry about the time at the moment. In case you just pop it in. <clears throat> Who's your second mod? Who's your second list pilled mod? No way. That is so awesome. <laughs> Love old Navy. Old, old Navy leggings they're very comfy and not too expensive i'll have to look into that i last time i went to old navy i had to get like work stuff that was like office work stuff and surprisingly like kind of affordable especially since i brought coupons and stuff i loved it and i still have some of that stuff in case i ever need it in case i have a need to look professional now i just wear sweatpants sweatpants hair tied chilling with no makeup on Bomb, mega bomb. So we need iron, coal, gold, solar, void. So let's grab some solar, some void, coal, iron, gold. We're making bombs here, right? We're making the big moves. <clears throat> Liz is taking list pillars as her own. You should. You absolutely should, though. Absolutely. I love the overlap. It's very fun. You know, we just, we got like a little thriving thing going on. A little thriving community. I will be making 10 mega bomb. Oh, I can make a lot of bomb. Let's do, so we have 40 going in. That sounds pretty good. You know, pretty, um, I'm just going to throw them all in one. Screw organizing. Who does that anymore? 
Now, the next thing that we have to discuss... Oh, I gotta get rid of this rabbit's foot. Bye. Is... I sense that a new viewer has joined us, a young lady from Stardew Valley. The spirits are in good humor today. You'll have a little extra luck. So I did have good luck, but there was too many monster. I'm friends with the monster. I'm friends with the monster. Is there a spicy eel recipe? I could have sworn that there was, but maybe I don't have it. I have fried eel, it looks like. Do you think maybe this is spicy eel? Uh, Princess... Smolsky, thank you for the follow. <laughs> only I'm I'm in my only buying seventy percent off sale Zara clothes era. Nice, Mia. I do have PO box. Um, it should be in my about me on Twitch, but if not, I can definitely give it to you later if you remind me. But you don't have to send me nothing. Do not do that. You do not have to. Old Navy has my favorite. I am tall, kind of chunky, so I or usually order mine to have them in tall, but they are. Perfect for me. Way better than Target material. Own both before. Target ones give out way faster. You talk about leggings. It, and the way that leggings fit annoy me so much. I hate them. But I, I like they're nice for their purpose, right? Of working out. Um, Ari in Crossing Land. Thank you for the follow. Um, hello, Ari from Italy. I hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> Spicy Eel was my nickname in high school. <laughs> all right well i guess i'll just make stuff what do you think is the best thing to make for fighting eggplant parm seems to be pretty good do you wear eyeliner or just mascara for videos just mascara i'm not in my eyeliner era at the moment because i'm not very good at it and it takes too much time. Sometimes I like to wear it. There will be like weeks where I, I wear, will wear it every day. And then weeks where I don't. I saw a video last night on TikTok about... I'm going to make some eggplant parm. About um, makeup that... Ooh, I like crab cakes too. Let's do some crab cake. Uh, makeup that fits your face and how like... The more like Western style, this is really broad in general, but like the Western style of like heavy glittery eyeshadow, heavy lashes, um, heavy face and like overlined lips. That's also a generalization, but you know, the MUA style of makeup is more popular um, in the West, but then like the Eastern styles of makeup, this was a Chinese creator and she was like, Eastern style of makeup is like very much more natural face and sometimes not even wearing like a full beat at all. And so I've been kind of experimenting more with that. It's just hard because when you have acne, because <laughs> it's like, you know, it, it's so nice to think like, I love fresh face makeup, but when you don't have a fresh, pa fresh, fresh face, it's like, ugh. you know, <laughs> like, how are you going to do that? Um, but I also love, like, the cakey kind of makeup look, too. I think that's fun. I don't know. You have to find something that you like and that suits you best. So, very sad. Um, this is the food I'm going to bring with me. That looks good. That looks like a good spread. Maybe I can bring some more forageables. Very sad I'm out of cave carrots. 30 energy. Okay, cactus fruit? No. Sure. Yeah, I think this is a this is a great place to start. What do you guys think? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we, we even have good luck tomorrow. We might not even have good enough luck. All right, going to sleep for the night. My makeup always starts off as fresh face, turns into a girl off to the club. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like fluctuate between both. Like when I'm in my eyeliner phase, it's definitely my, you know, more like beat to the gods type of vibe. But eyeliner takes way too long, man, because uh, I'm not like a one swipe type of girl. I'm a let's use 1000 Q-tips. 
Hey, you stop the time. Hey, time feels as usual. All right, let's check our luck. Oh, lobster bisque. There we go. I didn't know how to make that. Um, here we go. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. No! Well, we're gonna make luck on our side. That's okay. You know what? If it, if it really is a shitty situation when we get in there, that's fine. But we're gonna go and we're gonna give it our all. We're gonna give it our darndest. Apex, AC and H, or Wild at Heart. I don't know what Wild at Heart is. I think you should follow your heart. Ah. Am I wrong to think that skincare is a scam? No moisturizer or cleanser has ever changed anything about my skin. Some people are like that for sure. Um, I generally think that skincare is mostly scammy, but there are some things that are like good for you, but most of the things that they're trying to sell you like don't do anything. So, <laughs> you know, take everything with a grain of salt. I don't know. I like to keep mine really simple. Oh, my mother's calling me. I like to keep mine really simple because I do think skincare is mostly a scam. Anna Maria. First time catching on Twitch due to time zones. Love your YouTube videos. Thanks for coming. That's really nice of you. I hope you're having a good day. Mm. Have I gotten a luck charm? I don't know what that is. What is that? <clears throat> Fresh face with graphic liner kind of girl. I love that look so much. If I was good at eyeliner, I would be wanting to look like you. I just already know. Um, all right. Well, cool. We're going in, guys. You think we're going to have good luck today? We'll see what happens. Um, the spirits are mildly perturbed. I'm like, same girl, same. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I am not expecting anything. Just going in. Well, let me get this tear for Sebastian. Tears for Seb. Okay, wow. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. But word. Interesting. Interesting how that all just went down. You know, I, I take a mild interest. We'll see how efficient we can be with our time today as well. If we're having a bad luck day, we'll just stay and like farm iridium and ores. Um, like, if we're truly gonna have, like, terrible luck, that's totally fine, too. You know what I mean? Love the skincare brand Rovectin. They slay. I've never heard of that. Great video. Thank you. Ah, thank you! Kind of sick right now. Other than that, I'm good. Hope you have a great day, too. Thank you. That's very nice. I've had crazy allergies, so I understand. Excessive collections and many products are scams. Start with base cleanser, moisturizer, sub, and what you need. Acne serum and face oil, occasional mask, for example. Up slain. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we're seeing um, an end of an era where people um, buy and hoard excessively makeup and skincare and hair products. You ever see those TikToks now? Because now it's turned into like how much shit can you put in your shower? Have you ever guys have you guys ever seen those where people have like a shitload of of like the um, body scrubs and they have all the colors and they're organized by color and stuff that's like the latest thing but like people and maybe this is just the tiktoks that i'm consuming but people talk about like the over consumerism and how like that is like truly a dying trend and how people want all in one type of products or not to own excess because you know that's also just like indicative of the times and how the world is working lately, but it's like so interesting because that used to be such a huge thing. Like the makeup influencer on YouTube, like first of all, 
MUA YouTube is like dead. Like nobody gives a fuck about makeup YouTube anymore. Like it truly has died. Like they are all going off into different ventures, whether it be true crime, whether it be James Charles, Minecraft, like, you know, they're all doing something different because makeup YouTube doesn't thrive anymore. And so, and that's like so interesting because I think that's because these YouTubers, the reason why people found them attractive initially was because they lived in excess. And now that's like a huge turnoff for people because of like the pandemic and how, you know, a lot of people um, lost their like financial positions, lost their jobs, like how nobody really wants to watch somebody be rich and flaunt it. It's really interesting. Shower talk, that's what it's called, gives me hives. <laughs> Makeup trends are also so different now compared to what they were in the peak of beauty YouTubers. For sure, like the clean beauty thing and like the fresh face thing is definitely way more of a trend now and that doesn't require you to own shitloads of products anymore. List the whys, oh my God. <laughs> and thank God for that. Yeah, I just, I always would watch that stuff. Like um, there, was a, there was a point in time where I would watch like beauty YouTube, and I would want to be like that and I would want to own that many products, but like I never did, you know, but it was like such like a thing to strive for to have like a beauty room. Do you guys remember that? Holy shit, like tour of my beauty room. Um, I always used to think like, oh, wow, like that's so cool. You know, it'd be so great. Like if I wanted to use a color, if I could just reach for it. And I was like, I really took a look at myself. Like, why do I even like think that this is content that I want to consume? I don't even really like makeup that much. It took me a long time to really like makeup because um, I just did not like how it felt on my skin. And I don't know, it, it just, it took me a really long time to even get used to wearing it. And obviously you have to like learn how to apply it. So I wasn't gonna come out of the gate being like, hi sisters. Um, <laughs> But, you know, like, it was just such a thing where I was, like, I sat back and I looked and I was like, huh, like, why do I fucking care? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird how the, how James Charles brainwashed all of us. Okay, that's all stone. We're leaving. Moi, YouTube. I love saying moi. Moi. YouTube was always so full of drama, too. It was such a toxic community. Yes, they're having to own every ColourPop pa palette. Dude the morphe like 35 pan palettes like what the fuck that was an epic high sisters moment ipsy subscription for literally three months and it lasted me years yes people i think are now realizing like how quickly you can amass a makeup collection of things that you're not gonna touch and how much space it takes up and how much you know stress it can bring to people's lives like of like using things by inspiration date and like why do I have all this stuff why am I consuming like this like people are definitely thinking a lot more critically about their choices in that regard <laughs> for sure oh no I don't want an infestation I just want vibes no stop 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 don't be fast stop 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 okay Whew. I really thought I would get lucky and get a staircase there. That's okay, that's okay. Get out me swamp. Oh my God, I'm stressed. Hashtag stressed. No, 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 this one cannot touch me. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. That was a close one. Now I don't wear makeup in my everyday life because I'm lazy. Also too, like during the pandemic, a lot of people like working from home, did not have a use for makeup at all. Um, and I think that also led to people really considering like how much, how much, I guess, having to be presentable and look professional, quote unquote, um, made a dent in their finances. Because you think about it and it's like, there's a lot of, jobs and positions where if you're not wearing makeup to work like somebody's gonna say something to you oh my god dude i remember i worked at this restaurant once that and this is irrelevant because this isn't even the type of job or career i'm talking about right now but i worked at this restaurant once and they were pretty like pretentious out the gate but this was also the first restaurant job i had where i didn't have a uniform quote unquote like i didn't have to wear 
a shirt with the company name on it and like jeans or black pants. I It's like you had to dress yourself for work, but the, the, the thing was you had to be trendy like about it. Like you had to look cute. And so I remember when I had my interview, um, it was like a four day interview process and I legit wore the same thing like literally all four days. Um, oh my God, no. Die. Oh, I just hurt myself. Okay, here's a hole. We're going in. So at the time, like when I got this job, I could not afford to like buy better and more clothes. And there was a moment and I should have quit this job right then and there because it caused me a lot of stress in the long run, but I didn't. I was working. I was training. It was my first week there. So, you know, I had to like shadow somebody, whatever. And somebody brought up like, I noticed like you like don't have a lot of variations in your outfits. And just so you know, like, you know, because they were kind of a homie. They were like, just so you know, like uh, you're probably going to get something said to you. And I was like, oh, OK, like, yeah, I just I just don't have time to go shopping. Like I'm literally here from like like 10 a.m. until like 2 a.m. So like as soon as I have time to go shopping, like I'm sure now I will be able to go get clothes, right? I did get a talking to by a manager who said that I wasn't looking up to their standard. And I just was like, you're fucking serious? Like, oh, it just made me so mad. And it was like, yeah, like, I know, like, I'm not looking that cute, right? I also, you know, probably could have put more effort into my appearance, but I straight up just did not have clothes. They wanted me to have an abundance of clothes and outfits and they did not like that i did i was a repeat outfit offender i should have left right then and there because that job was like so terrible and stressful on my mental health after a while i'm so glad i realized that but like still oh my god like for a restaurant like nobody even gives a fuck <laughs> 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 Customers don't come in every day and see you in the same thing as the mage. It's, you know, that would be a good point. But at that place in particular, people, there were like a lot of regulars because it was kind of by like these big corporate um, offices. And so like the lunch rush would be the same people all the time. And this was a really nice restaurant too. It was like $30 plate. So like these people were rich and like, you know, everybody came to work looking so cute. And after a moment, like, I got it together, but also, like, God, what a fucking waste of my time, too. Because not only is that fucking bullshit, they should pay for you to buy clothes because that is actually ridiculous. Like, let's be honest. I made just as much money working there as I did working at Texas fucking Roadhouse, and I did not leave at 2 to 4 a.m. every day. And I didn't have to buy my own clothes like that. Like, yeah, I obviously had to buy pants. And, like, they give you, like, a couple of shirts to start. If you want more, you got to buy them. But, like, I don't have to think about my outfit and, like, make... Ah, like, they should literally... If they're, like, you need to dress cute for work, they should give you money to dress cute for work. Because that's fucking ridiculous. If they expect you to look a certain way, then you need to provide the money to dress that way, right? And so... That was another reason too why I left because I was like I literally make more money at like Texas Roadhouse that doesn't even open till three o'clock which is great and I leave at eleven. Cool. <laughs> so if don't part particularly enjoy my job, but because it's a supermarket, all that's expected of us is that our work uniform is washed and clean. But then because I work in a posh area of London, customers will walk up to me while I'm literally just doing my job, say I look tired. Do you just say, I am? <laughs> that's what I would do. Oh my God, that's terrible. Oh, I remember when I was working as a server when my acne was really bad. Oh my God, the amount of people that thought that they could like say something to me about it. <sighs> Triggered. But yeah, people people really do have the audacity. It's like, did anybody ask? Did anybody like care about your opinion? I look tired? Okay. 
Don't remember asking. Hee <laughs> hee. What a hellscape. I don't think I'm gonna waste any more bombs. I'm only on level 22. And by three o'clock yesterday when I had amazing luck, I was on like level 50, so. Right, wasn't I? Or was that seven o'clock? I don't know. We're just moseying. Let's just get through today. Um, don't worry about the time. Don't worry about getting to level 100 because it's obviously not gonna happen, but yeah. We'll wait for another good luck day. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> oh, and also get more geodes. That would be awesome. Awesome. Jesus. Is it going to be the last freaking rock that I hit? Then I'm going to get a staircase or what? What's going on here? The second to last. Fever blisters from, on my face all the time from stress because where I worked was terrible. My manager would point out that I have fever blister and make me so upset. If somebody, obviously, if somebody is going to sit there and point out like some sort of blemish or imperfection on your face or anywhere, that's because they have a terrible heart and no brain and are insecure. Like anybody that points shit out, like weird. That's a weirdo alarm. <laughs> You're actually legally allowed to kill them. Right? Isn't that so good? KKB, I love it. <laughs> Developed eczema. Had to shave my head and my boss at the time so that I look can change. I'm so glad that you don't work there because you said boss at the time. So glad you don't work there. Are you kidding? That's terrible. <laughs> Thanks, I totally had no idea I was there. I wish you a very die. Tiny Sprout, thanks for the follow. Also, Kelso, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I missed that. I gotta change that alert sound because, like, I don't really hear it anymore. It's gotta be different. 2022, let's stop commenting about people's bodies, right? Like, it's not your business and nobody asked. I loved receiving unsolicited skincare advice. Um... Cause it's so annoying because obviously when you have bad acne like it's so it really it makes you have such an interesting perspective perspective about yourself like it's really not you struggle mentally for sure i developed a lot of um new anxieties from having cystic acne like all over my face and obviously i was trying my best to get rid of it like obviously you know and for some people it can be an underlying medical condition for some people you know it's just straight up just hormonal imbalance like it, it literally like i'm not gonna go fucking get whatever skincare product you recommend because chances are in my desperation i've probably already tried it but, God, people are terrible. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can't believe that person yesterday. If you didn't curse, you'd have two more viewers. Like, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Probably have a lot more viewers. Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. I just, I'm going on a rant about, like, unsolicited comments at this point. <laughs> Rant vibes. I am going to indeed put a bomb in here. You the bomb? I'm the bomb. Hello, Jessie. beautiful, gorgeous farmer world. I am a farmer girl living in a farmer world. Thank you so much, Jesse. You're so sweet. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> no shite, Sherlock. What worked for you to get rid of it? In the middle of a breakout right now, I think something in my routine is conspiring against me. I think simplifying your routine. I took a lot of really terrible advice from particularly people in my family about skincare. And my cystic acne came from my, like, my medical conditions. And so the only thing that really helped me, like I had PCOS and I didn't figure that out until years later before I was like told like, oh, you probably have PCOS. 
and um, by like a medical professional. But at the time, I had no idea. And when I got on, when I got back on birth control, a lot of my acne problems went away. Because the entire time that I was having the cystic acne problems, it was the first time in my life, my post hormonal teenage life, that I had been off birth control, and. I had been off it for months, didn't know why I was having these problems, it didn't correlate to me, and then I got back on it, and unfortunately that did help. So, you know, it's not true for everybody. You should, you know, if you have serious concerns, go to a medical professional. And I still get breakouts. I got a big shiner right here. Um, I still get breakouts, especially around the time of my cycle. Um, and sometimes, like, I get, like, one cystic acne a month around the time of my cycle. And then I break out a lot in my, like, normal areas. Um, it is what it is. You know, there's only so much prevention you can do. I do really like simple skincare. Um, no lie, I do like the Curology because it makes skincare really simple for me. And it does help. But a lot of it was, like, getting my hormones in check. Which, you know, sucks to say and sucks to hear. Especially when it's not as accessible to everybody. <clears throat> Shelby, thank you so much for coming to join us. I'm sorry we're not playing Animal Crossing today. Um, we are star doing. We're doing the do. So, but thank you so much. It's very nice of you to come in. Tea tree oil. I did like that for a time. What helps me the most right now, like, I just, when I have a pimple, I just put a pimple patch on it. Like, it literally works so good. So good. I love pimple patch. I am obsessed with them. I use the Cosrx ones. And uh, then I use like a Cosrx face wash. Real simple. Same face wash morning and night. It's such a scam to have one for both. Uh, and then I use... I use like the Equate, the Walmart brand of CeraVe or Cetaphil. I confuse the two. Um, just like a facial moisturizer. And then I use Aquaphor under my eyes because my eyes get really dry and eye cream is a scam. I just use Aquaphor under my eyes, which does kind of cause me to break out sometimes like on my face. But like it's so worth it because nothing else will help with my dry eyes. Like I literally cannot live without it. And then I use Aquaphor on any other parts that I have dryness. Like lately I've had allergies. So my under my nose is like literally lizard skin. And then um, at night, I use the, I use the Curology. I like it. I've been using it a couple years and it just like, you know, it's just nice. It's convenient because it's just one thing. It's just one thing I got to put on with like three ingredients in it. So it's like three things I don't have to put on, you know, and then um, have to use the moisturizer. In the day, I do wear sunscreen and whatever sunscreen is at the store, I just get it, you know. <laughs> Hello, Manders. <clears throat> my forehead is in its lizard skin era my hands my hands are so bad oh my god speaking of I should do another aquaphor layer since I'm just sitting here mm. I was complaining about it to Carson last night and he said he's gonna buy me the gloves the overnight gloves that you put on with the cream just to keep them wet <laughs> Because my hands are getting really bad. It's just the struggle. Also, I hate this. I hate this. Eh, stay over there. Get hit. God, no. What if I die? What if I just simply don't try anymore? Where I don't want to be in an area infested by monsters. I'm friends with the monster. I'm friends with the monster. Like, ugh, it's such a waste of my time! Sorry. Feeling triggered in this moment. Jesus criminy. I don't it's like good or bad luck Stop. days. It's so not the vibe. Bad luck day is worthless. Hopefully tomorrow will be a good luck one and we're just gonna go all in. And, like, if I have to cheat a little bit... Because I'm done. I'm done fighting these stupid little slime cats. That's what they used to call me in high school. Ew. 
<laughs> I'm friends with the monster. I'm friends with the monster. My god. Is that really not the last one? Uh... Any besties here stuff with their face being a grease factory? I don't. I have very dry skin. I'm dry as a desert. I am dry, dry bones. You know that guy? You know that guy, dry bones? That's my alter ego. I identify as dry bones. Do I even... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep... I'll keep doing this. <clears throat> Have rosacea on my cheeks. Just call it natural blush. Beautiful. <laughs> Did I use a, a mod for slime cats? Yes. I do have all my mods listed now on a mod page. I'm so responsible, aren't I? Um, it's on lissysblog.com. There's a command for it in case you're interested in any of the mods that I use. Beep! Get out me way! I don't want to fight you little slimes. Oh, did the thing get moved again? I'm so sorry, you guys. What did I do? How did I mess that up? I moved it earlier. I'm sorry. I'm on level 34. See what I mean? It's like 8 p.m. I'm on level 34. I got bad luck today. I'm sorry it got moved. I'm so terrible. Hee <laughs> hee, not paying attention. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, the spirits were um not loving me today. And that's okay because sometimes you have to live and laugh and love in all sorts of different ways. And today, I lived and I laughed and I loved in the form of only getting to level 34 in the mines. Hole by the ladder? Hole by the ladder. Did I miss a hole? Thank you. Okay, let me pass these cats. Goodbye, cats. <gasps> Thank you! Oh my goodness, I would have been so sad if I missed a hole opportunity. Seven levels? Oh my god. Another hole? Oh, I should go get that coal. That coal, but there is a hole. I should get the coal, but there is a hole. Hole. Five levels. Oh my goodness. No hole. Gonna be the last rock. Hole. Leave the coal, we don't need her. You always need coal. Five levels. Here we go. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna have a little snack. A little cactus fruit. All right, looking good, looking good. Gotta get my inventory in check. Hmm. Sorry, everything's got to be prim and proper. Prim and proper. Ah! I don't like these bats. They're nice though, because they give iridium, but they are big beefy boys, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get away from me. Wait, Monster Slayer goal complete. See Gil for your reward? No way! What do you think my reward is gonna be for killing all the dragons? Dude, nice. Not bad, you guys. Not bad. Literally wasn't even trying. Wasn't even trying. Okay, give me a hole. <clears throat> Woman in your area in search of hole. Everybody hates her. Because this one simple trick. Big beefers. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's your best strategy for getting deeper in the mines? Wait until good luck day. 
Also, I've never used staircase, but a staircase is probably a great method. I'm not using staircase today, though. No way. Mm. Okay, you guys should all listen to Ditto. For my oily baddies, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but the face oil helped me. Basically tricks your skin into thinking it doesn't need to produce more oil because you're already oily. Also, some people, if you have oily skin and you have an elaborate skincare routine, chances are you might be drying your skin out and your skin might be overcompensating for how dry it is by producing even more oil. That's totally a real thing. I didn't just make it up. But I'm also not a scientist. But I have heard that before. Um, unfortunately, I cannot relate. I just have dryness. I'm just dry bones, you know. But eh, I'm not going to get that iridium. It was underneath me, but sorry. Um, so yeah, like you might want to try a little face oil and see how it works for you. Or, you know, the best thing um, too, if you don't know your skin type, when you wash your face, give it like 30 minutes, an hour and see what happens. Don't put anything else on. But yeah, I think a lot of people can think that, um, they have oily skin, but they're really, in all actuality, they're the problem. It's getting late. All right. We made it to 55 on a, you know, not so favorable day, um, luck-wise. It is what it is, you know. But tomorrow, hopefully when we wake up, the TV will be like, you have excellent, amazing odds. And uh, we'll get somewhere better. We got really close last time and we weren't even trying. Hey, we weren't even trying. Technically a scientist and that sounds right. Thank you, Bree. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> I'm like, I know this is true. Ooh, okay, so... I just want to buy spicy eel. Don't let me forget, if I have rubies, I want to bring them. Because I like to eat spicy eel. Doesn't that sound delicious? Oh my god, I want sushi. What is my fave song right now? Nothing, because... Spotify logged me out. This is literally day five, no Spotify, because I cannot get into my account. I got to figure that out. I got to take some time to figure that out. I literally haven't listened to music in so long because I'm so bitter. Uh, right now, I would think Breathe Carolina Blackout is my favorite song. It's like, I'm only getting started. I won't blackout. Been listening to that nonstop. Wish I could go into my Spotify and tell you what my favorite song is, because it would be right at the top of my likes. But unfortunately... <laughs> Spotify is the worst to contact to I've tried. Ugh. Harley, I hope I have better luck. I need it. I cannot live. Oh, let me just stop time real quick, just so I can get my ducks in a row, you know? Sorry, I am being a cheater. I love it. I love being a cheater. I'm only getting started. I won't black out. Let's go a little harder. Do you belong in there? Cross tiny jam. Yo, toxic bun bun. Thank you so much for the tier one. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, thank you so much. You're so um so sweet and so kind. Don't deserve you. Did you ever call Spotify? I have not called Spotify, unfortunately. I have not. Maybe I'll have time after stream because I really want to figure it out. Because I literally like, I try to open YouTube and I'm like, what song do I want to listen to? It's so hard because when you go on Spotify, obviously all the songs you like right now are right there. And so I'll be in YouTube. I'll be sitting on YouTube like, what do I want to look up? The, the Earlier today, I was literally listening to lo-fi playlist while I was driving. <laughs> Because I don't listen to music on YouTube, so I had no idea what I was going to, like, look up. And it was, you know, lo-fi playlist just happened to be there. <sighs> yes, if you guys are interested in any of the mods, thank you, Sam. Uh, make sure you check out my Lissy's blog. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm so glad you guys identify with my favorite song right now. Um, what else? I can't even think because it's like not on the top of my mind because I haven't listened to music in five days. <laughs> I truly am suffering. Ah! I don't know how I would live without Spotify. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? The mystery. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I'll just throw the rabbit's foot in there. Um, cool. I have five rubies, so that is five spicy eels that I can get. Gotta run over to the other shed and get a... I should also just take this cheese with me. Why not? Cheese seems like a great thing to eat. I uh, gotta get a warp totem. Everybody, please say a little prayer. Say a little prayer. Tomorrow, we're gonna have excellent luck and the spirits are gonna look at us and be like, oh, wow, damn, shoddy. You got great luck today. <laughs> I won't black out. Yep, yeah, that's been such a mood lately. I love it. I love it. And we will also pick up some cactus while we, were, while we are there tomorrow. It'll be great. We ready? Okay, round three. Am I doing no staircases? I am trying my best to do no staircase. If I get desperate, that's, up, that's between me and Jesus, you know? But this is only our third attempt today. The first day we had excellent luck. Attacking again. Perfect, perfect timing there, Bruno. So good. Um, and then this last time that we just tried, we had bad luck, so we only made it to like 50. But the first day we did make it to 70 something. So let's see. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Okay. Not what I wanted to hear, guys. Not what I wanted to hear, but we're still gonna go anyways because you never know. You never know. The spirits could be lying. Rip VIP, I'm sorry, piss baby. Yes, unfortunately we have no more VIP slots. <laughs> what if I got on the bus and went home? <laughs> I literally almost just did that. That would have been so funny. <laughs> Oh, got more spicy eel. All right, well, go back to bed. <laughs> if we get bad luck tomorrow, we'll do that. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna hope for the best today. We're gonna try. And let's blaze through it. Like, let's not do any dilly-dallying, no BSing. Let's just get her done. Just get in there and get her done. Not waste a bunch of supplies and all that, no. Um, you know what? I won't even pause while I'm speaking. How does that sound? Because, you know, you could always use the materials. And, you know, I like killing the monsters. Hey, you, you guys know I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. I get along with the voices. Ah, come on. The fact that Colin Peril... Colin Peril... <laughs> Colin Farrell was Penguin in the Batman. I didn't know that until after I saw the movie, but that blew my fucking mind. I cannot wait. He's getting an HBO show. Hey, he's getting an HBO show. What are we gonna do about it? We're gonna watch it? I am, for sure. I thought that was sick. I was like, had no idea. I was like, who is this nobody? Like, <laughs> I was like, who's the only nobody in the movie? Penguin. And then I find out that it's freaking Colin Farrell, and that I'm on level one in the mines, and I'm still looking for a way down. Michael Sarah had a baby? I heard that! I heard that he's had a baby, and he just didn't tell nobody. Is this infested? I- I fucking hate- I hate this so much. Ugh. This is such a sad existence. Get away from me. Spam click. I'm like, I'm so good at fighting monsters. I'm only getting started. I won't back out. Me and the club. Let's go a little harder. Oh, I also love uh, that song. Just call me Angel in the morning. Duh. Angel. 
Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby. <laughs> Paul Dano is Unabomber. <laughs> oh my god. He's got like unhinged 4chan vibes, and I think you guys, you know, you guys are gonna really like it if you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> All right, so waste my fucking time in here. <laughs> Me and the <Claire. laughs> I love that song. That's been such a good feel-good moment for me lately. Yeah, that's a spicy eel. Oh. Oh, girl. Whoa, nearly. All right, get me out of here. I hate this. Just call me Angel of the Morning Angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. If I died, that'd probably be great. Where's my slime charmer ring? Um, please enlighten me as to what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know nothing about ring. I don't know nothing about weapon. All I know about is um, good vibes only and being a epic slay. <clears throat> oh no, Cole. Once you kill a thousand slimes, you can get it at the Adventurer's Guild. I wish, is there a way to check my monster thing? Artifacts, minerals, cooking achievements. Is there a way to check my monster thing when I'm not at the guilds? Because I do have to go to the guilds. Maybe we won't spend so much time here today. We'll go to the guilds. Yeah, you know what I mean? We're going to go to the guilds. We'll go check it out. We'll go see what's going on. Because I did get an achievement for killing... All of those stinky little lizard dragons. I think, yeah. So, I mean, maybe I'll get something cool out of that, right? But what does the slime charmer ring do? Does it make you friends with the monster? <laughs> no damage? No damage from slime? Also buy the hammer while you're there if you want. But then I have to enchant it, right? Do I have do I have to do something to it? I gotta give it a big old kiss. I've never used slime charmer ring. I can't even believe it really does make you friends with the monster. Who would have thought? Okay, you guys you guys think you're funny? You think you're cool? You're not. You're not funny and cool, no one likes you, so. Not you guys, the mummies. I'm friends with the mummy. I'm friends with the mummy. Just stay over there. I bet you there's gonna be a, yup, it's underneath me. Oh, you guys can see it now. Get me out of here. That would be very helpful, cause you know, the slimes have been sliming it up, but I really don't think I've hit that achievement. Cause for some reason, it doesn't connect with me in my mind that I've done that before. Like, killed enough slimes. Can't wait to see, though. Like, we're gonna find out. We're gonna learn together. Slime Charmer is so nice for breeding slimes. Ah, you guys are breeders? It takes absolutely forever to get a thousand of them. Yeah, no, probably, probably never happened to me. <laughs> Just call me Angel of the Morning Angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Level 10, you guys. It's 1250, we got level 10. If I just die right here and now, that'd be great. To be honest. It's 1 p.m. Should I just go back to starting? 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. This is it. This is my last hurrah. Maybe I'll kill a slime. What if this is my thousandth slime? Wouldn't that be so funny? Hilarious. Alright, I'm going. I'm not wasting any more resources, time, energy, vibes, nothing. I'm bored of the desert mine, the cavern. So now what we will do is go to the Adventurer's Guild, right? That's what we want to do. That's where the big money is. Check on your boyfriend. Where is my boyfriend today? It is Thursday. Where's my boyfriend? <laughs> Where's Brendan Fraser when you need him? I'm friends with the mommy. All right, I'm not wasting my time on a bad luck day. Oh, definitely not. Not wasting my time. So, yes, taking a quick hiatus. Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. Um, let's see what we got here. I should be getting a reward from this man. Napalm ring. When you defeat an enemy, they explode? Would that not damage me? Embarrassing. Wow! <laughs> 650 slimes out of a thousand? Yeah, it's gonna take quite a long time. Napalm ring is goaded. Wait, does it like help though, or does it not? Does it damage you? Kill some of the slimes in the secret woods for that thousand count. Good idea. Very good idea. Was my favorite game growing up? That's a good question, Skippy. My favorite game growing up? Probably Animal Crossing, Wild World, City Folk, Harvest Moon. I love the fuck out of Harvest Moon. My favorite was DSQ. And SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's pretty good list. It doesn't damage you? Ooh, we should wear the napalm ring then. Let's do that. <clears throat> Burglar, vampire, and slime rings are the best trio. And then do I combine them and make them keys? Void spirits, not doing so hot on those. Bat. I love that all the bats are in one category. That's great. Cave insects, you know, we're really close to that, but unfortunately we gotta bomb the ones that are in the skull cavern to kill them. But I mean, hey, we could just do that real quick. Skellies. I don't know what Duggies are. Rock crabs. Mummies. Yeah, mummies are pretty low. Pepper Rex. Are those dinosaurs? Jordan Animal Crossing is so cute. Isn't it so good? 264 serpents, so we've done that one. Magma sprites. Alright, well, what's for sale? Oh, I love the anime portrait here. That looks so good. What? Okay. Okay, so we've got Galaxy Sword, Galaxy Dagger, Galaxy Hammer. Galaxy Hammer made from ultralight material you've never seen before. And this kills mummies? Or do I have to enchant it for it to kill mummies? Should I buy it or not? Duggies are the guys in the mud. I actually don't know how to kill those. Do I kill them with a hammer like whack-a-mole? You're like 22, right? Ew. No, I'm 25. <laughs> I think you have to enchant. So what do I do to enchant? We should look it up. Let's do our research. We've got... Galaxy Hammer Stardew. Galaxy Hammer is a club weapon that can be purchased. It can be combined with Galaxy Soul, Cinder Shard, in the Forge to... Create an infinity gavel. Infinity gavel. This is currently the melee weapon that does the most damage per hit. A master slingshot with an iridium. Wait, what? But it doesn't give me any info on whether or not they kill mummy.
Um, explosive ammo. Handy for taking a taking out a downed mummy. Okay, this doesn't even this doesn't even give me any info. I don't want to do the research. Isn't it just bombs that kill the mummy? Yeah, but we've been talking about earlier how apparently the um what do you call it? What do you call it? The galaxy hammer kills mummy, but we're pretty sure that we have to enchant it, right? Right. Sprinkles, staying pessimistic, and Gonzo Bone. Thanks for the follows, guys. Sorry, I haven't um, been paying attention to those as much as I should. I'm just terrible. You can put the enchantment on any weapon, but it takes a prismatic shard, and it's random what enchantment you get. Oh. So, ooh, hold on a minute. Wait. So I go to the forge. God, this is so difficult. So yeah, infinity weapons, galaxy souls, but if I use a prismatic shard, each weapon or tool can only have one enchantment and the implied enchantment is random. However, another prismatic shard can be used to re-randomize it. So prismatic shard and cinder shards. And these are the enchantments. Wow, I'm learning so much. I had no idea about this system at all. Artful, 50% uh, cooldown on special moves. I don't know what a special move is. Bug killer, crusader, vampiric, haymaker. Okay, and then yeah, there's like a bunch of cool... Wow, I have a lot of prismatic shard. Should I... Should I try my hand with um, enchanting my infinity sword? Saw Batman last night. I'm excited to watch the Batman. Y'all discuss it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You should definitely let me know what you think, too. Maybe not here. Maybe no spoilies in the chat. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Crusader enchantment lets you kill mummies. Oh, really? 50% more damage to mummies goes skeletons, void spirits, prevents mummies from reviving. So, do you guys want to go take a chance and see if we can get the Crusader onto my, um, onto my, what do you call it, the Galaxy Sword? We're gonna do that, as long as that's how that works. So, combined rings. Two different rings can be combined into one with stacked effects, cost cinder shards, two restrictions. Two of the same ring cannot be combined into one. Can I uncombine? Weapon and combined rings can be unforged. Oh, okay, it's pretty easy to uncombine things. Well, here's the thing too, is that um, I don't have like good rings. Like, let me take you to my house. Let me take you over to my crib. Didn't know that was a thing that's so cool, right? I have no idea how this system works either, so. Oh, but to get up to the forge, don't I gotta, like, go through all of the... Uh, all of the... Volcano... Combat? Ugh. Jesus. Or is there a shortcut? <laughs> Hello, Leona, how are you? No, there's a shortcut if you've already done it. Okay, good. Because I don't think my heart could handle that again. <laughs> I really don't think it could. Let's see what kind of rings and things I have. Stardew, star don't. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> to star B or not to be. These are all the rings I have. <laughs> the ones I'm wearing and protection ring. You are so hot and sexy. Love you, bestie. Divine sunflower, stop. Thank you for gifting a sub. I don't deserve you. Thank you. That's very sweet. Soul Sapper. Gain a little bit of energy. I don't give a shit about energy. Energy. Cole. Oh, you don't belong in there, you little silly. Silly goose. I don't think you're supposed to be in there either, are you? Yeah, no. That's not how this works. Okay, let me organize my little inventory real quick. 
This is taking my full and undivided attention. I'm going to take all these cinder shards. And I'm going to ask you guys, I'm going to wear napalm ring. Which two rings should I combine? I, I should probably keep my glow ring, right? Protection ring and plus four immunity ring, immunity bond. Protection ring, stay invincible for a little while longer after taking damage. Um, and your guys' professional and very smart and good opinions, what should I do? Cross what two rings boss. should I combine? Harley, thank you so much for two months on that sub. Thank you. That's very nice. I hope you're having an excellent day. Um, you can combine three. Oh, really? Follow your heart? Wait, you can combine three? Combine rings. Two different rings can be combined. Three or more rings cannot be combined into one. Oh, combined ring cannot be further combined. No, so I think... I don't know. I don't know what this means. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I'm dumb. I really don't know what's going on. Okay, it's taking me a minute to organize my life, but here we go. We are all organized, um, kinda. I am bringing a prismatic shard. I'll actually bring all three, because that's like pretty good odds, right? So let me really quickly refresher on how this works again. Uh, so I can, a random enchantment can be added to any weapon or tool with the exception of da 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 da. This costs one prismatic shard and 20 cinder shards. Um, each weapon or tool can only have one enchantment and the implied enchantment is random. However, another prismatic shard can be used to re-randomize it. So I'll bring all three of them. Just in case, because I really, really want Crusader, right? But any of these would be good. So Michaela, thank you so much for using your prime on me. I am grateful for your support. Thank you so much. There's a wear more rings mod. Mm. That is tempting, isn't it? Isn't it? Can you craft the Iridium band? Good question. Who is that? Whoa, girl, fuck. I forgot you can even craft rings. Okay. Glows, attracts items, increases attack damage by... Yo! Iridium bar, solar essence, void essence. <gasps> no! I don't have enough solar essence! I should make some iridium. I don't have enough solar essence. How do you farm solar essence? What's a good, effective method here? Damn, that's a bummer. That's a big freaking bummer. But I also have been using these to make mega bombs, right? Like I've been using those, so maybe, maybe we need to do a little more farming. But yeah, 50 solar essence, 50 void essence. I can buy void and solar essence from Krobus or no? Krobus sells solar essence and ghosts drop them. Well, I hate ghosts. Does anyone sell void? All right, let's go. Mummies actually drop solar essence. That's probably why I have zero because I've killed like 10 mummies. <laughs> Ridiculous. Also, sorry animals and farm that I have been ignoring you. I don't care. I don't care. I am a minor girl. Oh, I'm a minor girl. Yes, I'm a minor girl. Ah, I shouldn't. That's weird. That was not good. Um. <laughs> I am a skull cavern girl. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's too late. Unless he should have helped me. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell anyone about me. I don't care. <laughs> oh shoot. 
I just accidentally opened task manager. Imagine if I just like ended stream. I was like, all right, folks, that's all. Oh, I can only buy 10? No! Oh I'm no. A, I'm an idiot for real. <laughs> Probus could have been in the Batman. Krobus could have played the Batman, but could Robert Pattinson have played Krobus? <laughs> Alright, so since I am mid and I cannot craft a Iridium band yet, we'll get there someday. I'm going to combine these two rings. Probably, what, Immunity Bond and Glow Ring? And I could combine the Napalm Ring with the Protection Ring if I really feel like it, but... Um, I should probably stop time because I gotta get to Ginger Island. Unless I have a totem, which I probably do. I don't know. You know, sometimes I like to be on the boat. Robert Pattinson would slay as Krobus. God, this stupid fucking girl is in my way. You really gotta walk down the middle of the bridge. Summer shells, summertime. I don't practice Santeria. I don't skippity bippity boobop. <laughs> Napalm ring is so helpful. You can use it like bombs. I have never used it before, so I'm really excited. Has time not felt real for anyone else this week? Yes. You're so right. All right, now we're here. I wish I had my horse. Can I get another horse for Ginger Island, please? Yeah, this week has been cool. Like, I feel like we've had really good streams this week and it's been really fun, but I do feel like my life is crumbling and falling apart. Who is this flamingo? What? Did it just poop out a rock? That was so cool. <laughs> I thought yesterday was Friday till like 7 p.m. No. Oh, I don't have anything to give Lance, my boyfriend. Should I just give him a prismatic shard? <laughs> okay, he loves golden pumpkin. He has... He's got expensive taste. I really don't have anything for him, so what will I give him? I will give him a grape. Perhaps I'll find a way to make use of this. Lance! Oh, put it in the secret space over by Leo's house. Haven't I done that? Or wait, no! No, that was a special thing. Oh wait, let me take a let me take a blimp over there. No, you guys are right. That was a special thing. I totally remember that. No, you guys are right. Let's go to the jungle. Let's go to the jungle. Gem forest thing. What if I sold the gem? Haha, <laughs> forest. <laughs> so I put it in... Which one do I put it in? Each day, one north, one south, east or west, arrange their gifts upon my door. I think this was at east, right? Or top? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. I was in the volcano. Boop. So, does that mean that today I have to go collect all four of them? Or is it chillin'? Like, I'll find another bird someday. No, one per rainy day. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. That's so cool. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. How do I... Oh, my God. I just realized I don't even have a watering can. But I, this is a shortcut, correct?
We're fine. False alarm, everybody. We're fine. We are in the volcano. So. <sighs> Here is the dealio. We're going to put this in and this in. I don't have a lot of cinder shards, so that was part of our problem, right? A random enchantment with prismatic shard and cinder shards, and then we're going to hope to get crusader. We have 66 cinder shards, so we could do that three times, or how much does it take? Okay, it's 20 cinder shards to combine rings. So yeah, here's a, here's a thing, oh, whoops. Um, here's the thing. Mm, we have three tries. And one of them should be... Is there a monkey in the lava? Oh my god. We have three tries. One of them should be to combine rings. So let's see what happens. Let's see what enchantment we get. We're aiming for the Crusader enchantment. <gasps> Epic gamer moment! Eee, that was so good! <laughs> yes! That worked out so well. Ooh. Whoa, I don't whoa, even have to pick whoa. now. I can do whatever I want! I can't believe. Holy shit, wow, fucking balls, eh? Only wow. me, I swear to God. I swear to God! So now I can kill mummies one shot. This is so cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, next up, will be combining my glow ring and my immunity band. And I will make this ring. Holy shit. Wow, fucking balls, eh? Whoa, girl. List luck. List the lucky. Luck the last. All right, next, we're just gonna do these. Boom. Nice. I could combine Napalm Ring with Stay Invincible for a little while longer after taking damage. Should I just do it? Since I have just enough shards to. What would you guys do? Would you do it if you were me? That could be me. Combining your rings. That should be me. Using your shards. I would wait because there are rings you can craft that have combo stuff already. Oh. I wish I would have read that. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, we're taking a chance and that's perfectly fine. Like, we got really lucky. We might as well. We're going to come back. We'll get more cinder shards some other time. We'll figure it out. You know, there's going to be more opportunities in life to get more cinder shard. Um, I should probably talk to my boyfriend. I was trained in the magical arts by my master. You show some real potential. Yeah, I do. Finally, somebody recognizes it. Jeez. All right, it's 6.30 p.m. Let me head to my farm and see what's going on there. <clears throat> when your stuff is badass, you can always do the volcano without the stress later. Gonzo, you're so right, because every time I go to the volcano right now, I am stressed instantly. Like it's the worst time ever. <laughs> I hate it. I have strawberries growing, taro root, which is grand. Had no idea I had a blueberry planted. That's a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> a little weird. Love that, though. Ooh, I got a golden walnut, too. Ayo, golden walnut check. I have strawberries growing on Ginger Island right now because strawberries are muy profit. And I am also a strawberry girl. Yeehaw. <clears throat> Place started in so long, this is all whack, right? I don't know anything about Ginger Island. I am learning as I go. And, um... It's been a wild ride. It has indeed. I wish I had another set of tools while I was on Ginger Island. Does anybody else relate? Who can relate? 
I don't really know what to do with taro root. Is it used for anything in particular? Or can I just eat it and sell it? Did I keep the taro root or sell it? Strawberries, pineapples, and ancient fruit. That's really fun. Thanks, Dwarf. Thank you so much for using your prime. Thank you. I feel so blessed. Use it to cook poi. I don't know what that is. Is that something that Leo likes? Because indeed I will just hold on to it. I have so much money. I am mega wealthy. Have you guys seen anybody so rich? Quest from the bulletin board for taro root. Oh. Do I have one right now? Or is that something that will happen to me later? Yeehaw. Well, we're done here. Is there ever a point where I get to renovate this? Oh, it, there is. It's 20 golden nuts. Guess how many golden nuts I have? One. It's one that will show up eventually. So we'll get there. It's a. Uh, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Mm. There's my horse. Why didn't you come to the island with me? Ah, <sighs> tomorrow. Do you guys think we're gonna have a good luck day? I have a lot of faith that it will be a good luck day. Hmm. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully, every all of the gods and the light and everything will be on our side. If not, we're just going to go right back to bed. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Maybe instead of going to bed right now, though, I could use this opportunity to make some money real quick. Make some money? It's summer and I'm growing strawberries and you should just shut your mouth. <laughs> if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Jokes. I think I have a mod downloaded that if you um, don't uh, like the the crops. How do you how would you explain that? The crops won't. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> brain dead moment. <laughs> Jesus. The crops don't um, wilt when you go to the next season, and I didn't know that until my strawberries stayed alive, so that was nice. And I figured I would just keep them. Because uh, at the end of the day, if I'm not cheating, I'm just missing out. <laughs> I got some roe. Very nice. That's a fish pond underneath me, by the way, in case you missed it. I'm trying to get a big melon. Get a load of these melons. So that's why my crop field looks really weird. I want big melon here. And I want big melon here. Wish me luck, everybody. We're going to get some big ol' melons. <laughs> it's about the nuts you find along the way. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> Hello, scoops. <laughs> Your eyes are dilated, can't see shit. When I went to the eye doctor last month, they were like, we might have to dilate your eyes. And I was like, okay, can I drive? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, I thought that you couldn't see afterwards. And they're like, yeah, that too. I was like, so which is it? Fucking Walmart, man. <laughs> so bizarre. Strawberry, selling all of the strawberry and... Green beans, too. Sure. <laughs> Get those melons. I want a big, juicy melon. Dude, no, I had to drive once with my eyes dilated. It was so scary. Never, ever will I again. Yeah, I thought that was weird that they said that to me. I was like, fine, though, because I didn't end up getting my eyes dilated. But still, I was like, I don't know if you're giving me solid advice or not right now. Um, but I also mind my own business. It's my uh, mantra. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. So when your eye doctor tells you 
that it's totally okay to drive with your eyes dilated. You simply just accept it and move on, I guess. Got strawberry wine. Like strawberry wine. Seventeen. That song is triggered. Hot July moon. I saw everything. My first taste of love. I'm going to stop immediately. All right, it's 12 a.m. You know what? I'm just going to stop the time so I can get all of my animals all in check. Get the ducks in a row. Sorry about it. If you're mad, haters, back off. I hate my chickens. <laughs> Hello, FX. How are you? Having a good day, I hope. Emergency eye appointment by myself. They had to dilate my eyes. I wouldn't fucking see the sun hurt so bad. Dude, my eyes are watering. Think about it. Oh, I'm so sorry that they did that to you. That's terrible. Tell me who did it. And no one gets hurt. I guess I'll just sell the rest of the egg. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm gonna sell egg. Had a song stuck in my head yesterday. Now can't remember it all. Sad. Loved that song. <laughs> That happens to me all the time because I forget things really easily. And it is really sad because you're like, wow, that was like a whole part of me. And now it's gone. Beautiful farm. Thank you. <clears throat> My eyes refuse to dilate. How does that work? Are your eyes not like other eyes? Jesus, my farm is effed up right now. I gotta, like, fix all the pathing and fence. Jeez! Uh, Luminaris! Thank you for the follow. Welcome! Like strawberry wine. Ooh, Elon Musk. What horror game? I'm very curious. That sounds like fun. This fence situation is really effed up. Oh, I also have an apricot. Apricot. My first one. Cute. Yeah, and all my trees produce fruit out of their respective season, so... You know, it's just how good of a farmer I am. Like, my trees trust me. My apple trees trust me to produce enough. Apple tree. Even in spring, summer, you know, fall, that's a given. Winter? And it's not because I'm a dirty cheater modder. Oh, no, not at all. All right, that's it. We got it, folks. Everything is good. I'm gonna sell everything else just because I don't have enough room for everything. And that's totally fine because I'm gonna make fat stacks. And then, last but not least, before I go to bed, I'm going to organize, grab all the stuff that I'm going to need to go straight back to the desert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pine tar, you're going in. Uh, cinder shards. I don't need to be bringing you. I also should probably keep my prismatic shards at home. And my carrots and my cheese. That looks pretty good. I mean, I should probably... Don't you guys think maybe get some more food? <laughs> I don't want to be stuck down there. Almost close to level 100 with no food. Would not be a good time. Again. Just a reminder, I'm not using any staircases. So, we've got to try extra hard. What's the whistle? What do you mean, the whistle? Am I whistling? <laughs> Are you hearing my air conditioning? If there's a whistle. My cat just jumped on my back full claws. My back. <laughs> just cat things. Oh my god, I'd be so mad. So mad. I think... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see how much food I really want to bring. Triple shot espresso. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let me do... 
fried mushroom. I'll bring a super meal as a last resort. Pumpkin soup, triple shot espresso. This is a lot of food. And yeah, all right. Are we ready? Tomorrow is our big day. Gonna make it far. Gonna get to 100. In the game I hear a whistle? Oh, weird. Did you hear that? I think I must have gotten enchanted. What was that? I thought that maybe I would see the fairy. Strange capsule? Love a lot, Bear. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Wait, what is strange capsule? Is there something funny on my farm? Something fishy going on? A strange sound was heard in the night. What? I'm stopping time because this cannot interfere with my plans today. Neutral. Okay, neutral. That's fine. It's like an alien. <gasps> What is this? What do I do with it? <laughs> do I hit it? Oh! <gasps> There's something fleshy bobbing around in the fluid. Oh, we gotta look this up, right? We gotta look this up. Strange capsule. After year one, there's a ba -da 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 -ba -da -ba -ba. strange sound was heard in the night. A unique UFO sound effect plays. Strange capsule appears on a random tile on the farm. Can be picked up, placed around the farm. Turns into a broken, empty cap capsule after about three days, which enables a further Easter egg. Turned into a broken, empty capsule if applied with fairy. What the hell? Strange capsule. Wait, what does it do though? Oh, I have to click this to get the spoilers. Do you guys want to get the spoilers? Or should we just wait? I muted myself? Do the spoiler? Am I muted? You're good? Oh, okay. I'm like, just in case, I just gotta make sure. Um. Further Easter egg, let's do it. We're gonna find out what this cute little thing is. After a strange capsule appears and breaks open, there's a 1% chance of glimpsing a dark feature. Cre dark creature wave after a dark at the bus stop. Oh, that's it? I just see like a little dark creature. That's it. That's it. That's cute. That's it. This little alien just inhabits my town. Just a little guy. Big bummer. All right, well, I guess I'll put the capsule uh, up here. Alien takes over Mary Lou's fucks. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Jesus! Alright. Really quickly, I know I've peed already, but like, I drank a lot of water while we were sitting here, and I gotta pee again. I'm so sorry. I hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you. So I'm gonna go pee real quick. Rinny, thank you for the follow. This is it. We are getting to level 100. This is it. We're getting to level 100 today. The spirits are neutral. We're all stocked up and ready to go. We are going to get to level 100. I will be back in just a moment. Thank you for being patient. Stick around if you wanna see some magic happen. I am back. I'm gonna have a quick, uh, 
a quick game day snack because we're about to go in and do some magic. These are radioactive looking. I don't know if I've had these. Doritos Flamas. Don't think I've eaten today. I haven't eaten today either. It's like 4 p.m. I hate myself. I forgot that I wanted to make avocado toast. So instead of doing ASMR, I'm just gonna literally smack these down because I know how ugly and disgusting and annoying chewing and crunching is. You know what? These do taste just like Takis. Yeah, how dare you, Chase? How dare you try to help me when you thought I was in need? No! It stopped! I'm back. Those chips were so good! Ryphobic, thank you so much for using your Prime on me, by the way. That was very, very sweet of you. And so epically kind. Ooh! Those chips were so good. They were literally Takis flavor, right? 
The flamus? Flame ass? Yeah, that's what they used to call me back in the day. <laughs> All right, so let's get back into it. This is it, you guys. If you're just popping in, we are about to hit the skull cavern. We're about to slap it. Hit it hard. We're doing skull cavern. This is a neutral day. The spirits are not in my favor or against my favor. So my luck is whatever I make of it today. So no crazy advantage there. I'm all stocked up on food and bombs. No staircases, because I would like to do it with no staircases. Let's see how it goes. And if not, we will do one more chance and we'll just go to sleep until we have a good luck day, you know? But I have a feeling that today is the day. Excuse me. <clears throat> all right. On stop time. I had it stopped because that strange capsule thing. I wasn't gonna let that drag me down. All right. Sarah, thank you for coming. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Katie, welcome. Wolfie Moon Dust. Ayo. Shout out. Ooh. Solar Essence. Oh, dude. And Mummy's Permadye. I forgot about that. That's amazing. Also, this whole exploding thing. <gasps> this is the best. I love all these buffs that I just got. Are you kidding me? This is about to be easy mode. All right. Well, let's get somewhere good where we can bomb. Um, I also like killing them by the rocks. Oh, that's great. Okay, we got a hole. Everybody, we're going in. <sighs> this is so good. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be really easy, to be honest. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little cocky, but like all these buffs that we just got from enchanting our weapon and um, rings, like Jesus, we're totally good. There's a hole. Here we go. Down the hatch, everybody. This is it. Seven levels. What buffs miss that part? Let me tell you. I have <clears throat> Crusader on my sword, so I do more damage to like certain enemies. I forgot which ones. And also, I can perma kill mummies without bombing them. Another thing, too, is that I have this um, combined ring and this combined ring. <laughs> this one is my glow ring and the immunity band. Um, and then I have the napalm ring and a protection ring combined. <clears throat> so, in other words, I am actually very good at this game now. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. I just feel, I feel like things are in my favor. The luck is on my side. Every hole is a goal. If your goal is not whole, then you're not doing it right, baby. <clears throat> My goal is 100% whole. If you're not whole in it, <laughs> damn. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll have a, nope, no staircase down here. That's fine. I wonder if I can kill these guys with... No, not with Crusader. Damn. That's kind of a big bummer, don't you think? I thought maybe it would help me out with the little bugs thing. Um, those ones being all hoity-toity with their little... Can't be killed, can't be tamed. Hey! Oh, that was my nail. <laughs> that was my bad. All right. This level needs to give me better luck, huh? Jesus. Jesus. 
focus your energy align with um whole <laughs> can't stop thinking about her <laughs> damn i should call her I'm walking here. You guys are too funny. <laughs> 9 20 a.m. and we're level 15. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Not nearly as many whole as you know a girl would like, but Rainbow Frog. Thank you so much for the follow. That's very sweet of you. Or for the sub, I'm so sorry, I said follow. I'm like a literal liar. Sorry. List the liar. It's the liar alert. Um, thank you so much for the sub. It means a lot that you would use your prime on me. I feel very special. Um, so thank you so much for that. Oh, I forgot to get the coal bag. Welcome to the sub club. Any new subs today? I noticed that we have a couple, which is grand. Thank you so much. Um, if you're a new sub, make sure you link your Twitch and your Discord so that you can get access to our sub-only section. Um, and all of the cutesy fun little perks. What if I went down the ladder instead of the hole? I'm too good for hole. <laughs> I should call her. <laughs> Three levels. That wasn't a very great hole. Mid. Mid hole. That's what they used to call me in college. <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up. Not cool or funny. <laughs> Call her. I barely know her. <laughs> Genius. Your mind. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. God, I'm so fucking good at this game. Gotta get those geodes. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goal is 100% old. <laughs> Binging your videos on YouTube, my boyfriend would love everything you post. Stop. Thank you to you and your boyfriend. I hope you guys are having a great day. That's so sweet. Rip. <clears throat> Jesus. Jesus. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, level 24. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, for 11.30 a.m. Are you kidding me? Are we kidding, huh? I love that I blow shit up. Is that not super sick? All right, it's time for a spicy eel. It's a spicy. God, those chips were so good. I wish I had a big bag of them. I love when Carson brings home because on set, they have to feed you. And when he comes home, he'll bring like snacks that sometimes they'll just give out because they're like, we don't want to deal with these snacks. We're super rich. We don't eat snacks. We eat Nobu and sushi. <laughs> I don't know where I, why I did that. But he'll bring home like snacks and stuff. Oh, you know what? I tried liquid death. Have you guys heard of the liquid death, the water that's in a can? He brought home liquid death one time. And you know what? I found it to be quite enjoyable. I thought it was weird to drink something out of a can that was like water, you know? It was really interesting. Um, was there a ladder on the left? Ooh, let me go look. I didn't even see. Um, maybe it was the last level and I just read your chat because I'm terrible, but, uh, yeah, he always brings home little, little fun things for me. I'm just a girl that likes snacks. I'm just an ordinary girl. Sometimes I'm hungry. I eat snack. <coughs> <clears throat> I like Doritos, hot Cheetos. <laughs> I feel happy. I feel silly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I am being silly and goofy today. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bars. Sorry, last floor. No, I'm sorry for not reading your chat. You're valid. 
And I'm stupid, stupid idiot. <laughs> Mariah? <laughs> oh, we got a ladder. All right, all right. We got to start taking this a little more seriously. You know what I'm saying? Let's just use a bunch of bombs. Oh, hole. Here we go. Seven levels. Seven days. I hate that bitch. Bitches be like, seven days. <laughs> a hole dropping 50 levels plus and not die. That'd be so nice. We're on 35 at 2 p.m. Mmm. Um... Isn't Liquid Death that canned water that has some marketing campaign with like partying or something? I actually um, don't know anything about their marketing except for I watch Cody Ko. And that's just about all I know. Oh my god, a crab. A crab! And um, yeah, I don't know. I think you're right though. It looks a little weird. I was kind of, kind of like thinking like, oh how weird, you know? Am I- are, is the goal to, like, be perceived as to be drinking a beer? Is the goal to be perceived as having a beer with my bros? Ooh, I got a miner's treat? That's what they used to call me in high school. Eat miner's treat. <clears throat> MGK is also affiliated. I saw his stupid little defensive-ass video, because somebody made a TikTok that was like, uh, this is MGK's guitar. They like had it and they were like, funny thing about MGK's guitar, it's got a kill switch. Then 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 Sailor Neptune thanks for the follow. And so MGK hops on TikTok and he's like, that's basically what he sounded like the whole time. He was like all defensive. He's like, and you're wearing a liquid death cap. I part own that. So you're kind of like promoting my company. And it's like, uh huh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's just funny. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't have my stuff ready. Sometimes I'm lazy. I get bored. I get scared. I feel ignored. I feel happy. I feel silly. I choke on my own words. God, I hate it here. This is terrible. So we're staying my life. Ugh. All right, I'm doing it. I'm eating a fried mushroom. Okay, can't lose my cool here, guys. Oh my god, I'm losing my cool. I hate the little guys. Die. This is gonna take way too long. This is really eating into my time right now. Fucking horrible. This might literally be the reason, my 13th reason, the reason I don't get to 100. Okay, gotta be fast. Gotta go fast. I feel happy, I feel silly, I choke on my own words. I love that there's like no music down here, it's just like you're alone with your thoughts and these squishes. Smash that like button! I should drink an espresso. I feel happy, I feel silly, I choke on my own words. Cake. Gotta get that cake, 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 cake. Ah, oh, you stupid crab. I fucking hate crab. Okay, I'm super fast, so like nobody can touch me. So fast. Okay, going down. Whew. Now we're out of the uh, out of the woods on that one. Oh no! I should probably eat. <laughs> that one's gonna get me, huh? Yep. All right. There's a way down. We are wasting so much time. It's five o'clock p.m. and we're only on forty-eight. Can't get jaded and look at this iridium. Mm 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 mm. <clears throat> so no hole. <laughs> mm. 
Yup, no hole. Thanks for rubbing it in. I'm just gonna start ignoring stuff. Don't even care. Nothing can phase me. I cannot be tempted by the sweet kiss of iridium. I have no space in my inventory. Okay, well. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. God damn it. I feel happy. I feel silly. I feel silly. I joke on my own words. Yeah. Okay, I'm throwing you away. I also have this cave carrot. Throwing the sap away. Um, and I don't really care for the cloth. I would rather have the earth crystal. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I love when that happens. Damn it. Damn you. Ladder. Ladder. Single farmer in search of hole. Show me your hole. <laughs> Sorry, I am like obsessed with the hole today. Oh my god. Okay, let's eat. Ladder, I barely know her. I need less cord members in chat and straight away to my DIY pile. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. Uh, I felt really bad. If you are one of the people that I said that I would give DIY to, and then I ghosted you for three days, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. You know, I just, I forget things. Forget about it. Okay, I cannot be tempted with Iridium. It's go time, baby. There's plenty of time to get Iridium later in my life. Like right now? <laughs> 7.20 p.m. and we're only at 47. I'm sweating. This is dangerously down to the wire. I'm just gonna start bombing shit. All right, cool, cool. Got some stuff, got some good stuff. We got a farm totem. To warp back home. That's kind of nice. Isn't that kind of nice? I should probably take it off the first row of my inventory, though, because uh, what if I use it? Wouldn't that be hilarious? What if I got to, like, level 90? I actually used a farm totem. That'd be so funny. Sorry. I'm the only one that probably thinks that's funny. I feel happy. I feel silly. I choke on my own words. On my own voids. I don't want to do any more mining. I want to mine my business. Dwarf scroll four. Do I have a use for this anymore? Can't say that I do. God damn it. I hate this. I am upset. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Ah, let's see. Can I craft a bomb? <clears throat> we got hecka bombs. Hella bombs, you guys. Hole. Manifesting. Thank you guys for manifesting the holes. Like, it really means a lot. 56? 56. Not bad. Not bad. Get me out of here. Perfect. We got a hole. We got a hole, everybody. Jumping in. Five levels. All right. Here we go. 
Uh-huh. I should drink another espresso. I'll save my last one for something that'll matter. Nothing really matters anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm entering like the stages of grief. I'm currently on dread. If that's a stage of grief. <clears throat> I'm grieving the loss of a hundred levels, but that's fine. It's fine, everybody. Hey, give me a give me a hole. Ah, uh, you don't want to. Alright, that's fine. Nothing. Nothing, truly. Oh my god, I can't take this! I can't take this! I can't do this. It's just, yeah, my emo arc, yeah. I feel happy, Whoa, I feel silly. Stop. I choke on my own words. Blow up these rocks for me, baby. There we go, perfect. Awesome. That was a great situation. Grand situation. Oh, I gotta get these geodes. Sorry, I know, but I'm really fast right now, so it doesn't matter. I feel happy at first. Maybe that's my favorite song right now. Ordinary Girl by Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana. Sorry that I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I'm like, do you guys feel ignored? Good. I feel happy, I feel silly. I choke. I choke. On mine own word. Hast thou ever done that? What happens when you don't leave on time? You pass out and sadness. Depression. <laughs> God! Alright, tomorrow we're gonna have excellent luck. What is that? I'm gonna get rid of this slime. What is that? Life elixir? Oh, cool. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. A little something for everybody. God damn. Oh no, it's midnight. Oh, should I just cheat? No, I'm only at 65. This was an L run. L run. You getting me? We didn't even stand a chance out here, folks. Didn't even stand a chance. That's all right, though. Just stare at the wall. And now I just sit in silence. Well, what do you guys think? We're just gonna go home, go to sleep, and keep sleeping until we get an excellent luck day. List the L. <laughs> We're gonna get an excellent luck day, and it's all gonna work out beautiful. And now I can sit back in my chair. Um, you know what, I'll just, I'll use the farm warp. Yeah, sucks a little, but not that much. We'll wait for a good luck day because I really do think we got this. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. Um, yeah. Going to the farm. Adri, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a great day. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if I would have been stuck behind there and I would have had to pass out. Would just be so sad. Thought I was the only one who says the same verse of a song over and over again when I focus. Love that. I'm glad that we can relate. Who could relate? Oh, I'm gonna stop the time. Sorry. Sorry about it. All right, we got a warp totem for tomorrow. Anything that belongs in here? Nada. All right. So. 
Pretty good run. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. It's not perfect. We're going to perfect it. Hopefully. I can't take this anymore. I'll keep Ruby. No, I won't keep Ruby. I... Sorry, I gotta concentrate real hard while I'm doing this. <laughs> I'll take Life Elixir with me. Why not? We'll do Life Elixir as our secondary, just in case things hit the fan. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, that looks good. I think, uh, I think we have enough food. We didn't really eat that much food this time. And, um... Unless maybe there's more cheese with gold star. Yeah, that's good. I feel confident with that. All right. Going to bed. Let's see. Maybe tomorrow we'll just, we will just wake up with good luck, which would be great. Otherwise, I'm just going to go right back to bed. Time at the night market. Work back home. Passed out between a bunch of trees. That's terrible. Oh, my goodness. The spirits are very happy today. Woo! This is it. Okay, very happy today. Let's go. Let's ride. Don't, 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 don't. Let's ride. We are gonna do amazing things. Oh. I wish I actually would have brought some gems so I could have bought more triple shot espresso and spicy eel, but you know what? You win some and you lose some. This is going to be the day. Also, do you guys think I should just be a cheater? Should I just be a cheater? <laughs> Not, no. If it comes down to the wire, quite possibly. Holy shit. Holy shit, you guys. That's a lot. That was a lot all at once. Whoa, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. That was too much. Okay. Uh, reorient. A little bit. Whoa, girl! Please. Okay. Get my head in the game. Let's go back in. We got this. <sighs> I hate that all these rocks are so spread apart. I don't want to use a bomb. My slime count's going up. Ayo. Jesus. Okay, this is terrible. This is not going well for me. It's already 7 a.m. 8 a.m. almost. That's fine. Jesus, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm crumbling at the seams. Gotta keep confident. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, no Demi moment. <laughs> Wait, is that their song? What's wrong with being confident? Is that a Demi Lapato? Demi Lasnado. That's what they used to call me in high school. Okay, um, seven levels. Oh my God. That was a lot of HP. Poop. That was such a time. I wonder if they're proud of that. <laughs> they were an epic meme. Such an epic meme. 
my face went epic meme. This is fucking terrible. Alright. L click. L fucking minor, dude. Shit, I didn't need to do that. It's okay, I'm leaving it all. I should probably allow myself to pick up the gold, though, because then I can make more bomb. What's wrong with being confident? Uh... Oh, girl. This is good. I like when all the rocks are together. Ten AM only on level fourteen. It's good. It's still good. The holes heard list last was coming clenched up. I love that word clench. <laughs> so good. Perfectly describes me. <laughs> I am fully clenched. And just when the worlds needed them the most, they vanished. Talking about the holes. <laughs> so no hole. <sighs> Jaybird, hey, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, that's very nice of you. Hope you're having a great day. Um, so lucky to have you. I'm just an ordinary squirt. Oh god, this is terrible over here. You kidding me? What are all these guys doing? Get me in the hole. Oh shit. That was a really fucking close one, you guys. I have like no HP and I jumped in a hole. Oh. I always come out on top though, baby. Nothing to worry about here. Alright. That's how I know the spirits were on my side. I love that I kill mummies with my sword. <laughs> I almost said, no, it's okay. I don't have to repeat what I was thinking in my brain. It's okay, we don't all have to say our thoughts out loud, right? Whole essie. Thank you, Divine Sunflower. You are so... Thank you for the manifestation. That's very sweet of you. Believe you deserve it, and the universe will give you whole. Uh, I do deserve whole. <laughs> what if I start singing whole? Hey, hey. You know what to do. So baby, give me your hole in Malibu. Give me your hole. Yes, ladder. Level 36. Yeah. Yeah, baby, we're in 36. Okay, got a ladder. Start playing the movie holes. <laughs> ah, too funny, too funny, you guys, too funny. Better calm down, you guys are being too funny. <sighs> Hate this situation. Where all the rocks are all spread. They're too spread eagle. Ooh. 
pole. <clears throat> 43 at 1 p.m. 1.10 p.m. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Hello, Fat Free Bong Water. In case you guys are just popping in, we're doing a no stair run to level 100 of the mines. We've been trying all day. So I think our third try, fourth try. Uh, some of them were a little more serious than others, but you know, this is going decently well, but we're still on the edge of our seat here. We don't know for sure a hundred percent fully if this is going to happen for us today, but um, if you would like to manifest some hole, that'd be great. That'd be great. That ladder was pretty obscured. I almost didn't see it. That ladder was pretty obscured. I almost didn't see it. Epic! Epic! Got another hole. Three levels. Gold Cavern can suck my balls. <laughs> nice. 49. Pretty close to breaking the uh, big 5 0. Who knows? Will she make it? No, I cannot be jaded by all this iridium. I have got to do something else. It is not about gathering iridium ore. That's not what today is about. It's about breaking all the rocks. I hate when they're all spread out like this. Stop it. Stop it, Ron. Jeez, it's gonna be the last rock, huh? Watch it be that iridium ore. Fucking cry. Just, like, cry real quick. Anybody else just cry all the time. And I got more Mega Bomb. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. The holes are clenched. <laughs> and the stones are spread. <sighs> Just gotta remember. Do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So. Inventory's looking good. Food situation's okay. It's pretty mid. Um, I think we'll figure it out though. It's like, it's gonna be fine. Jesus, what the hell? Spirits, do you think I like this? Do you think I like having less rock? Because I, I don't. Because I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Take that L real quick. Why am I eating spicy eel? Shit. Okay. Ooh. That was not cool. Okay. Ooh. Oh. 
I'm clenched right now. Because <laughs> I'm clenched right now. <laughs> 4.20 p.m. and we're only at 61. You guys, is it going to happen today? No, it is not. It is not going to happen today. Pumpkin soup, though, has a little bit of luck. So maybe we could use that. We could use a little bit of that. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, prismatic shard, though. Hey, I'll go back for that one. That's cool. That was nice. That was a nice little surprise. You know, you at least get a little something. Hello, Peachy. How are you? Thank you so much for the raid, by the way. That's very sweet. Welcome in, you guys. Um, we are aiming for level 100 in the Skull Cavern right now in Stardew Valley. Um, we're currently at 62. It's a good luck day, and we're not using staircases. Just bombs and holes and ladders. No staircase. Um, so that's pretty cool and pretty awesome, and I hope that it works out. I really, really do. It's 4.40 p.m. though, so we only have so much time. But thank you so much for the raid. If you guys want to go and support Peachy TV, that would be awesome. Go and add your rap a follow, you know. Be a little, uh, be a little sweetheart. Hey, be a sweetheart for me. Okay, I gotta stop with this accent. I hate it. L accent. <laughs> mid mid very mid today feeling very mid you know guys if i'm being honest i feel very mid i keep standing right in the blast zone too it's pretty funny <laughs> hey i need more holes would be really nice if i could fall into some hole wouldn't it Ooh. Ooh. I'm also leaving behind a shitload of iridium, but we're trying to go fast. Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Damn. It's okay. Oh my god. <gasps> You're fucking kidding me. Damn, that was crazy. That was really lucky. That was really lucky. Ah! You guys wouldn't get it. That was wild. Whew. It's okay. That just means luck is on our side. Jesus. I cut it too close. Too many times today. I gotta chill. Three levels? Like, why are my holes not being very good to me today? Another prismatic shard? That's kind of nice. What is that little thing? Who is this little guy? Was that a crab? That was bizarre. Very cool. Kind of weird. Oh, take a break. Oh my goodness. 72. 72. 6.50 p.m. They are really not going to let me ever believe that I'm on the up and up. All right, here's another thing. I'm putting my bombs closer to me because I keep whenever I would eat like or use a bomb, kind of have a hard time finding my sword again. So this will probably help me a lot. Yeah, to be honest, it'll help me a lot. I also take a lot of damage. I'm noticing that I'm like not very good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I got stuck in there. Oh, all in good fun. Jolly good, jolly good. Hole. Hole alert. Jumping in. Stress petting. <laughs> oh good. These are probably some good scratches. God, I love cats. I just love my freaking tiny man. He deserves all the tiny pets. Give him tiny pets! Oh. There's another crab! Hold on. I gotta see what this crab thing's all about. Because it keeps giving me crab cakes, which is nice. Good to have food. 
Eight levels. Ouch. I know. I know. I'm being terrible right now. Okay. Jumped right in that. Jumped right up in there. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, I'm falling off. <sighs> Thank you. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. 88, 8 p.m. I'm feeling really good about this, you guys. I love all these buffs, too, on my sword. Like, man, we're just killing the game. I can't stop sucking again. You like me a lot. That really, that really brought me back to reality. <laughs> 89, 90, we got 10 levels to go. So, uh, how we all feeling? Pretty good? We all feeling good tonight? Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think we're gonna do it. Let's just hope I don't die. Fucking kill myself. Like I have been almost doing this whole fucking time. Dude, I love the little crab man. Hey, eat a crab cake. That crab is giving me good luck. Hello, Sanctuary. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for popping in. We're uh, almost to level 100. No stairs. Hey, no stairs. I'm walking here. Um, in the skull cavern. First time. It'll be great. 9.30. All right. Doing good still. Doing really good. Okay, maybe it's when you blow up stuff. Because I've never seen this crab before. What kind of shoe is that? I didn't even get it. <laughs> Embarrassing. What is that? I might as well take this iridium, take these geodes. 10 10 p.m. We got seven levels. Woo! Very nice, very nice, very nice. Life elixir, nice, I love that. Being annoying at this point. Oh, whoops. All right. Let's make a whole meme in the May May Discord channel. I promise it's SFW. You promise? I, I'm inclined to believe you. I'm a little nervous. But I'll definitely check it out. One second. We're almost there. 95, baby. 95. Need a spicy eel to that. Cheers. You know, maybe I'll take myself out to dinner tonight. After this big dub. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna get rid of slime, because I would actually rather have that bomb. Yup. And I don't want a red mushroom anywhere near my food. That is not a good idea. Okay, wow, I fucking- oh my god, I'm getting really nervous. I'm getting really mad. Okay, stop. Ugh. Why are all these so spread apart? Okay, 12 a.m., 12 a.m. Ninety-five. 
shit. Didn't even see you there. A ninety seven. It's twelve forty. Fucking dinosaur, you stupid fucking dinosaur. Ninety eight. Wish I had something to make me faster. Speed, crab cakes. Fucking Christ. Fucking Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna shit. Please. Oh my god. Please. 1 30 a.m. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to waste my time with you. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, game! <laughs> I was gonna cry if I didn't make it. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> holy shit, holy shit. Well, oh my it. god. Fuck yeah, dude. That was sick. Jesus. Alright. That was a good one. That was a good run, you guys. That was sick. Well, 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 you made it. Hell yeah, I did, brother. <laughs> Come closer now. Don't be shy. Oh, my God. No, I... <laughs> Why is he hot? Oh, no, he's hot. <laughs> I understood you were attempting a deep dive into these caverns today. Yo, that's what she said, bro. Uh, I had to see for myself. Impressive, very impressive. You passed my test with flying colors, kid. I'm very pleased that you challenged yourself and came down the honorable way. Instead of skipping all the levels with staircases, this is what it's about, baby. This is what it's all about. Yes. Damn, that was sick. Yo. Mm, mm, mm. I can't stop talking again. That shows you're the real deal, kid. You've got principles. You understand that importance of challenging Holy yourself shit, and holding well, yourself to the well, highest man. standard even if no one is watching. That's why you're special, kid. See, you lead by example. I like that. And the fact that he's hot right now, I'm like, yes! <laughs> Yo, I'm Mr. Key, kind <laughs> of. Now go over to the table and drink the special milk I've prepared for you. Dude, why is this kind of sexy? <laughs> ah! All right, let's do it. Drink the milk. <laughs> the mod really helps him because without it, he creeps me out. For sure. Doing him a lot of favors here. It's called Iridium Snake Milk. One healthy swig of that and you'll become even more powerful. I turned green. That's kind of cute. The taste is awful, but the texture is even worse. But your health is permanently increased by 25. Good luck out there, kid. All right, I probably got to stop time immediately. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm leaving. We had literally, guys, not even 20 minutes to spare. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my god, that was great. That was a good one. I want to marry him, right? He's kind of cute. That'd be awesome if you could marry him. I would, especially with that mod on. Oh my god, I have fucking... I've got eczema, and I did that. <laughs> my back hurts. And look what I accomplished today. <laughs> Ten more seconds you want to bonk? Exactly. That was so crazy. Like, oh my god, I just... I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it, you guys. That was great. That was really epic. So proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, we're going to bed. Whew. Save. I don't give a fuck that Sherb gave birth to a baby goat. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta, now I gotta name this stupid goat. Just save the fucking game, please. Um. <clears throat> Sherp <laughs> Yeah, I started, I was trying to name my, you know, my animals by Animal Crossing characters, and I named the goat Sherp. I mean, what can I say? Name it Snake Milk. Snake Milk. <laughs> Rod Flow, thank you for the follow. Yo, that was so fun. That was good. I'm really... I was shaking in my boots there for a minute, you guys. All right, it's saved. We're good. We are good. Oh my god, that was great. That was so good. I'm I'm so happy that that went well. We really we needed a dub and that was our dub. Dub of the day. A double do ya. Should have named it Hole. You're right. Next one I'll name Hole. And then maybe Snake Milk and Hole can have babies. That was so close. That was 10 seconds away from being a disaster. 10 seconds away from me probably cheating. I probably would have just cheated. Because we were so close. Like, there was no way I was going to fucking give that up. Ah. <sighs> Can you share my meme with the chat? Yeah, I can share your meme with the chat. Oh my goodness, my heart, my heart. Whew. I love this so much. <laughs> To do it for her, and it's just whole. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good one. Thank you for making an epic meme. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. What a good time. God, I have seriously. I think I'm having heart palpitations right now. That was good. That was a great, great run. I'm so happy that you guys were all here for it. Thank you so much for being such a lovely part of that amazing No Staircase Epic Challenge. Um, let's see. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Um, let's go see what Shania is doing. Shania is playing Stardew. Shania is playing Junimo Kart and wearing a very interesting outfit. I can't wait for you guys to see this. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be a good time. Um, I'm gonna go literally like decompress for a minute. But we're gonna raid and we're gonna go say hi to Shania. Thank you guys for coming. <sighs> I am hunched. <laughs> Fully hunched. Jeez, Kenzie, thank you for the follow. Good times, you guys. Good times. All right. Copy the raid message. There is one for subs and one for everybody. Let's head on over to Shania's channel and say hello. See you guys. Mwah. Have a great rest of your day. Happy weekend. I will see you next week. I think we have a full week of stream, so... It'll be great. We'll work on Animal Crossing and some Stardew. It'll be good. It'll be a good fun time. Um, I'll see you then. Okay, bye.